crap 19 months. Missed you all and especially CD. Lucky you guys, you get to watch me eat some pizza. <laughs> I had leftover pizza and I was like, I'll surely get through it before I have to start, but I still have one and a half pizzas. Pieces, pieces of pizza. Pieces of pizza to my side, so. You have pizza too? A very nice. This is leftover pizza. I gotta really, before I say hi to everybody and thank everybody for being here and Cake, have a good night. Danger, have a good night. <clears throat> I have a really weird request. So, uh, it changed from the last time I did. I have a really weird request. So, my request is somebody can be the designated person or multiple people can do it. I don't care. But I need a picture or like a screen grab of me. So, the reason why I say it's a weird request is like, I don't know, having people take pictures of me is just kind of weird. But I needed one that like existed like this, and I don't take good pictures. So, like a screen grab or like a snip or whatever of just me in this setup. So, if you take any of those screenshots, just throw them into IRL pictures on the Discord for me. Uh, I can't tell you what it's for right now, but it will be used somewhere, someplace, and since I don't take good pictures, and I don't want to just be like, yee, then uh, just take some candid shots and eventually I'll find one that I like. So that's my request. Anytime I'm on the intermission screen, just if you take a picture or something, like, I'm good with that. Thank you. Um, but yeah, just post it in the, uh, in the IRL pictures. Anybody that hasn't heard this is going to be like, why the fuck are we posting pictures of Sierra in IRL chats or IRL pics? But, um, I just need a picture, but I don't take good pictures. So I'm hoping that some screen grab somebody gets a like. So yeah, that's, that's my random ask. I know it's weird. Just do it <laughs> just somebody do it for me because I can't I can't take good pictures so and it probably would be better if I am doing something in a stream setting so um, I'll tell you guys what it's for after the rebrand stuff is over but I just need a picture and believe me I uh, I gave them at one point obviously that has to do with the rebrand but I gave them this picture I, I don't really want to use that picture, so I'm asking for, you know, a normal picture. Anywho, Class Joe, congratulations on getting the first redemption. Welcome in, happy PJs. Pegasus was really close to getting the first redemption. Good evening, how are you doing? Danger and last piece of cake. Once again, thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. 
Have a wonderful night. <laughs> I'll have a funny story to tell you guys after the rebrand or like during the rebrand that involves that picture. And, uh, but I can't tell you guys right now. So hopefully we'll just have like, somebody will take a good picture and I'll be happy with one of them or at least it looks good enough, so. But um, yeah, can't tell you more than that at the moment. So, uh, let's see here. Let me scroll down who we got. The Gerald Mountains always get kind of loud. God, I hear Gerald Mountains. Okay, so anyway, back to greeting everyone. <laughs> Good evening, Nana Tomaton. I hope you had a great day. Twitch was being weird. I had a weird Twitch issue yesterday. I was in chats like late last night and uh, it just like booted me from all the rooms. Like it just kept constantly saying connecting at one point last night. And uh, I don't think it was on my end either. And then uh, I was doing something else today. I was in a chat and it was being a little weird. So I think Twitch is just being twitchy again. So if anybody runs into any weird things here, let me know, poor favor. So anyway, Danger says, I'm not here. I am sleeping. No one can see me. No one can see you sleeping. That's really creepy, actually. I mean, that's a good thing. JR, welcome in. It's good to see you. Leilani, thank you so much. Where's my mini maracas? Leilani, thank you so much for the 19-month resub. I hope you're doing well, lady. I read your message over in Discord. I'm glad you got your surgery. I'm glad you have more feeling. That's wonderful. So that is that is a step in the right direction. The recovery is always a pain in the butt. So I hope the recovery goes very well. Yes, yes, yes. I completely understand. If the, you know how it works around here. You don't have to type. You can lurk to your heart's content. It's just lovely to have you back. Thank you for all that support, even whenever you've been gone. I really appreciate it. So, and I am modding my Skyrim install right now. Yes. It was funny when George said that it seemed like there was a lot more people who were like playing modded Skyrim. <laughs> I'm like, yes, get all the people to play Skyrim. If I can't get you all to play Project Zomboy, maybe I can get you all to play Skyrim or modded Skyrim. One or the other. Hi, Watery Bread. How are you doing today? Hello, Electric Man. Hello, Galen. Hello, Robco. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you all had a wonderful Tuesday. Tuesday wasn't too bad for me, um, as far as work is concerned. I had like three meetings, supposed to be four today. One of them got pushed to next week, so I'll live with that. So yes, the whole, just the camera. So like if you take a snip, you can just snip just the camera. If you take like a screenshot, then I can edit it and crop it to just the camera. So yeah. I'm curious on what type of pictures everybody else is going to do. Somebody's going to do silly ones, and honestly, I don't care if somebody does a silly one. I feel like I probably need to update that other one, but I do actually need one that's not me looking like an idiot. So, yeah. <laughs> I uploaded a great one. Can't wait to look. I'm not even going to look at them right now. So if you guys don't get me a good picture tonight, you have failed me. So just so you guys know, I need one at least one good picture tonight so again just post those in irl photos for anybody popping in i'm asking a really weird uh request of having people take a screen grab not everybody just a couple people as long as it looks like there's a good one i'll be happy see <laughs> uh, so is such a powerful influence on us in the games we play it's it's funny it happens to me all the time i watch other content creators or other youtubers or what well, not content creators too i watch other people and i'm just like man i really want to play that game now so it happens to all of us but man i am just really enjoying skyrim right now as you can see this week's schedule is all skyrim and the rebrand is on saturday i got some more stuff set up you guys can't really see it easily but i have the new key light set up up there i have got the new xl stream deck on my desk uh, it's mostly set up for obs so i have very limited range of what i can do on the stream deck right now for Streamlabs. so today's stream and thursday's stream um I won't really have as much like ability to do things on the stream deck like I normally would. And since Skyrim's kind of a pain in the ass to tab out of, um, just know that I probably won't be able to do as many like switch to Samus camera or praise the suns and stuff of that nature. So I just put very basic stream lab stuff on there really quick. So yeah. 
I'm good. Just started my summer semester the other day. That's right. So that's what you said. Back to business. Back to business. Also, I have something cute to show you guys here in a second. So, hello, Real Magic Cookie. Doing well this fine Tuesday. How might you be, sir? There's a few winners. Okay, some ones that actually look good, Glass Joe. Not ones that are like... I hope that's a picture, too. I hope somebody was still, like, trying to capture one. And they got that one. But if they didn't, somebody I'm sure could go back. I guess that's another thing I could have done is instead of just asking you guys for pictures, I could have gone back in like the VOD and just done that. Yeah, that probably would have been smarter in hindsight, but you know, it's fine. Anywho, currently playing Skyrim again. Let's go, Pegasus. I did not know how to get off my force for five minutes. <laughs> That is hilarious. UG, how are you doing today? Welcome in. Howdy, howdy. Hope you're doing well. I am still pushing the button. Actually, I am pushing the button on Friday. So uh, I have officially taken off work on Friday to give me a little bit more time to make sure that everything is 100%. So here's kind of the game plan for the rest of the week. So today, obviously stream. Um, Wednesday night, I have, I'm gonna be changing my mic. I wanted to do that, unfortunately, last night, but the boom, that box you see back there, first of all, was the wrong boom. Second of all, it was too large anyway. Third of all, I'm sad because I can't return it as past the 30 days, go me. I should have been a little bit better, but I, I swore I picked the right one, but I guess I didn't. So, sadly enough, that's not gonna work. So I am buying a screw adapter for this mount and I'm just gonna continue using this mount and uh, set up the new mic tomorrow. So uh, I'm running USB. So USB, I have the Shure M7. So tomorrow I'm gonna be changing out the mic and I'm going to be trying to get the stream, or stream element stuff done tomorrow. Uh, finally, final touches um, on uh, final touches for stream elements on Friday. So on Thursday, when I first go live on Thursday, I'll need a couple people to be there, which a bunch of you are here early, so I guess it'll work out. Because on Thursday, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go live on OBS first. Don't worry, you won't see any of the rebrand stuff. I'm literally keeping it on two screens. Um, and we're going to test that uh, the OBS first goes live correctly. And then second, we're going to test audio, both game and microphone audio, uh, so that we have that correct before going into Saturday's stream. So Thursday, we'll do a test run of OBS for like the first 10 minutes, however long it needs to be, just to make sure that the audio is correct. And uh, then I will close that stream out, relaunch Streamlabs, and we'll continue to play Skyrim. So that's going to be on Thursday, but I do want to test and make sure that OBS is you know, functioning before we go into Saturday. And I'm like, ah, dumpster fire. So, and then Saturday, you'll want to be here towards the beginning for the best full effect. Anyway, you'll want to be here towards the beginning. So I'm really, really excited. And Friday afternoon, I will be submitting the application for partnership. So um, Skyrim's actually done really well on the channel. I say actually, like it surprised me. I guess I just didn't know how well Skyrim would do on the channel. And so it's also helped to bolster the the average, which is amazing and awesome and makes it look even better. So uh, we didn't just get the average of 75 for 30 days. I got the average for 70 days because it's almost an additional 40 days that I held and increased the average. So hopefully that'll look good. I don't know. We'll also have a rebrand, so I'll actually look like, you know, more professional streamer, but I guess we'll see, so. How is it too big? The boom PJs is massive and it doesn't fit. Like, it doesn't yay, yay, yay. fit. Hi, Ms. Muck. The boom is much larger than this one. And the way I have my desk set up now is the three monitors. And the boom actually comes underneath my monitors is how I currently have it. Uh, I did attempt to attach the boom all the way to one side or the other, but it just interferes with the monitors too much. It just kind of sucks. So with the way that I have it set up, the boom just does not, does not work. Like it doesn't even matter because it's not the right boom anyway, because it's one with an XLR cable. So whoops. 
yeah, that's how... Yeah. I'll also specify that I want it below me and not above me. So that's another problem. Because I guess technically I could have done it all the way above here, but I don't like that personally. So yeah, I did try that. Because it doesn't bend all the way one way. The way that boom is set and made, it only goes like, like a triangle. So I don't care if that's how real radio shows do it. I like right here. So meh. Regardless, uh, the boom won't work. So <laughs> if anybody needs a boom for a sure microphone, maybe we can work something out because that thing was fucking expensive. Blister. Anyway, beyond that, uh, I should have the attachment that I need to, uh, to attach the mic to this boom tomorrow. So as long as that gets here, we'll be good to go. Ms. Mott, thank you very much. Thank you for the 300 bits as well. How are you doing today? Surely there's someone out there. Yeah, surely somebody will, will need that. <laughs> so we'll find out. But I have delayed long enough. Hopefully one of you, two of you, three of you got some decent picture. If not, I can just go back and do this. Real Magic Cookie, you asked us how our day was going, so how is your Tuesday going? Fried cheeses, it's really good pizza. It's from Hung Hungry Howie's. We've been getting it occasionally ever since it opened up because it's really good. Fried cheeses, how are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and close out of Spotify, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and start getting the game launched so we can get in here. But, oh, wait, 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 wait. One more thing I have to show you real quick before we launch the game because it's adorable. I'm going to show you this adorable, adorable picture real fast. Is this not a cute puppy? You get a cute puppy. Is that a cute puppy? I'm stealing Llama's thunder. This is his dog. <laughs> That's Bean Boy, also known as Dexter. That's Llama's doggo that apparently got groomed today and he sent us a picture and I couldn't help but show that because it's fucking adorable. <laughs> Bean is so freaking cute. So yeah, good luck finding rebrand stuff. I'm very, very smart when I come, when I do that. Good try though, PJs. You know what? I respect it. Nope. None of that stuff. I told you it's in an encrypted file. <laughs> It is so far in. Like, I made sure that even when I started my stream deck, like, even though OBS is not even open, so it wouldn't even register it, um, I made sure that uh, my stream deck was only open to the Streamlab stuff, and I made a completely separate folder just for that. So, I was extremely careful. All right, launching the game now. So, it looks like a toy. It Bead is so cute. That was after grooming, but Bean is adorable. That's, again, that's Llama's dog. Mmm, I'm ready for the weekend too, fried cheese. I am very ready for the weekend. <laughs> there it goes. I was like, it should open. Oh, the other thing I did, guys, so you're going to have to let me know how the... Uh, the visuals are today. I did increase the bit rate from when we streamed on Sunday. So if you guys were here on Sunday, let me know if you can tell a difference, if it's running better or if it's running worse. Because I was a little worried about increasing the bit rate too much because then obviously that means more resources will go to Streamlabs. So yeah, just let me know how, how it's running today. Because we are still running off of CPU, which is fine. So, but I'm glad you're doing well, Fred Jesus. That doesn't look like a real dog, but it is. I'm more of a cat person. That's fine, Yuji. I like cats too, but my fiance is really allergic, so we don't have one. Hello, Knowledge Rhino. How are you doing? I still forgot to delete more of the save files. I have so many. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to Skyrim. If you guys have not been in this playthrough, 
then let me tell you what's going on. First of all, this is not my first rodeo with Skyrim. It's been five to six years since the last time I 100%ed the game. Uh, so I have forgotten a lot, which is really cool. I did a challenge run of the main quest line only back in October, which was a lot of fun. It was a challenge run to get through, just complete the game any percent. That's why we really focused on the main quest line, uh, without buying or selling anything, which was a really fun challenge run. It exists on the archive if you happen to want to go back and watch that. So. This one wonders to himself sometimes. Where will his story end? Where will the Where dark will he be when age go. consumes him? Da, 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 da. Only time will tell. Only time will tell, Dark Taco. So, uh, this is my first time modding Skyrim, though. Um, once again, special shout out to Zero Perry Productions, aka George. A lot of you guys already know him, but he spent over 20 hours helping me mod my Skyrim for the very first time. I have no experience with modding, pretty much, um, <sighs> except for a couple of mods that I put into Project Zomboid, but those were Steam Workshop mods, so they weren't even anything like this is. So, some things to note. Uh, first of all, we are a Breton. We are attempting to play a spellcaster class, and uh, so far it's been going relatively well, but I'm not afraid to use a bow or something. I will use whatever I need to get the job done. There have been some crazy instances where we found ourselves fighting eight death lords, and I will use anything in my power to beat eight death lords. So, Here's our current tree. We are currently level 32, almost 33. Our enchanting is almost max. I say almost max. We're still 20 points away, but enchanting's going like crazy. I think, yeah, one-handed's already at 75. I should probably, oh, I have a point actually. Hold up. What is this one? Power attacks of the sword execute targets below 25, inflicting a critical strike for 10 times critical damage. Why? That seems like overkill. Okay, hang on. Swords reduce attack damage. Yeah, sure. Oh wait, I wanted that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yes. All right. One-handed's at seventy-five. A light armor's at seventy-two. Lock picking's at fifty-six. Speech has actually gone up, but I think we're wearing something for that. So yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. So, uh, we also have a couple companions. This is Dartarto the Khajiit that we got in the Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod, but um, his name sounded a lot like Dark Taco, and that's what somebody said in chat. So his name stuck. So this is Dark Taco. So if you ever hear me running around and yelling about Dark Taco or Dark Taco Save Me, this is who I'm referring to. <laughs> and then this little buddy right here is Chicken Taco. <laughs> so yeah. Outside that, um, the mod list, Watery just posted it. Thank you, Watery. Uh, our mods are mostly graphical, UI-based, locations, uh, NPC, and quest line mods. So please do not talk any spoilers about mods themselves, as I've never played them and never watched them. Oh god, we get to test out how the, the game's running already because it's rainy outside. So let me know if, it's, uh, if it goes to shit or not. But actually, we're not even going to stay here. What was I doing last? I think we were just exploring last. Let me take a look at the map. We started in beyond Skyrim Bruma, so we did a whole bunch of stuff in Bruma and then made our way over the Gerald Mountains, where we've gone through a whole bunch of locations. So all the locations on the map are explored if we could explore them. So yeah, that's the type of player I am. <laughs> so yeah, it took 20 hours, Galen. Now that I know I'm glad you're doing well. I think it actually does look better. It just looks better than Vanilla Sky. Well, yeah, I would hope that would look better. Pylons, did you change your name color? It is throwing me off. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't mean you have to change it back. I just thought it was funny because I looked over and I'm like, wait a second. So that's not my normal Pylons color. How are you doing, Pylons? Good to see you. Rhonda, I am doing very well. Holy shit, it's dark. Probably because I was looking the opposite direction. Let's let's give us a little bit of a little bit of light here because anytime it's like super cloudy in nighttime and in the mountains, it starts getting really dark. I'm gonna leave our horse there. Should we just name our horse Horse Taco? That has terrible Im implications, but still. <laughs> oh, the freaking Death Lords were terrible, dude. Oh good lord, Galen, that sounds terrible. <laughs> 
I wouldn't even be able to run stream and that at the same time if I had that many mods. So yeah, we have 271 mods. Uh, again, the mod list is there if you guys want to check it out. Uh, you guys can ask me questions. I can't promise that I'll be able to answer anything about mods though. Because, uh, yeah, I had help. I just realized I don't even have weapons on. So let's get that around. Did you beat a bee? The Jabite. Yes, this is Dark Taco. Dark Taco is great, and Chicken Taco is somewhere. Oh, there he is. Little Chicken Taco. Freaking love Chicken Taco. We were a little bit worried that Chicken Taco had died last time. I was going to be so sad, but apparently not. Our mods are mostly amazing. And by mostly, I mean they are amazing. Ooh, Dwemer Ruin. I actually haven't gotten to check out a Dwemer Ruin since we started this playthrough, so this will be really exciting. But enough about me in the Skyrim playthrough. Now I need to know how you guys are doing today. How many of you in here started playing some Skyrim? That's what I want to know. Frame rate seems good so far. Good, 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 good. I feel like we didn't have too many issues last stream uh, on Sunday. I know that you guys said sometimes the bitrate would happen and I think we're just going to have to live with that in certain areas and in certain instances. Uh, I'm most concerned if uh, if the bit, um, sorry, if the, uh, if the bitrate starts eating up resources. So we'll see. And I also once again actually expect the quality sometimes to improve a little bit when we switch to OBS. Over. Because OBS doesn't use nearly as many resources as Streamlabs does. So hopefully that means on Saturday and going forward, it will actually be pretty good. Oh, this is one of those places you have to explore. I think there's a lady that's like, oh, you need to go to these locations. So we don't even get to explore it. Ah, oh, you assholes. Fine, because I think there's like a staircase down or something. Let's take a look at the map. As you can see, I'm trying to be very thorough, and I don't really have a rhyme or reason to where exactly I'm going. I was kind of going around the outside edge for a while, but uh, now I'm just kind of doing whatever. Oh, that's a spider. Get him, Dark Taco. Very nice. Very nice. Good evening, Savage. How are you doing today? And Rhonda, how might you be doing today? What is the color of said horsey? Uh, the, it's the paint horse, so. <laughs> what was, thought you could get away, huh? Sorry, I'm trying not to eat in the mic, but I still want to eat my pizza. Savage, thank you so much for the first time sub with your Prime Gaming. I really appreciate that. Hang on, I actually think I still have that command that I reprogrammed. I have to make sure not to press dumb things though. Boom! I do still have it on here. I just didn't have it in the Streamlabs tab. <laughs> I'm like paranoid I'm gonna click something that's gonna reveal something of the rebrand, although it can't because I'm not even on OBS, but I'm still like just paranoid. I've been doing my absolute best to make sure people don't see anything. But Savage, thank you so much for that Prime Gaming. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel to wanna to wanna give it the Prime. Enjoy your ad free viewing and 30 days worth of emotes. And obviously you've been around for Skyrim and that's gonna be like the main playthrough of Skyrim or main playthrough on the channel for a while. I'm sorry if I stumble over my words today. I kind of feel like I was doing that earlier during my meetings. I think my brains just scatter because I've got so much stuff going on between trying to get work stuff done and then all the rebranding stuff and it's, it's just about time guys. It's just about time. I'm so excited. Not your taco? Oh my god, I actually love it, Pegasus. Okay, I like it. Let's let's go with that. Cause we've got chicken taco, dark taco, dark taco supreme is our cat. Oh, we left them in white run! <laughs> So we actually have a regular kitty in the game named Dark so Taco Supreme, and then Not Your Taco. I really like it. We're gonna we're gonna go with that Pegasus. I'm on board. So I love the way that chat has been naming everything. <laughs> so one of the things I'll miss come Saturday is CD's Sunflower Border. I know it is. It's really nice. 
I should have changed borders and stuff more often, but I just never, never did. I promise you guys will like what you do see, though. But it is pretty. It is very pretty, very flowery, very bright. Pegasus, I hope you figure out that cave. There is so many walkthroughs and stuff, so if you uh, have a hard time, there's so many wikis and everything else that you could look into. All right, this cave is nice, easy, and to the point. Sorry, you're welcome. Sorry, brain not working. No, I don't know why you're apologizing. You're good. Unless you're making fun of me for being like, thank you, thank you, thank you, because that's fine too. I'm. I feel like my brain has been just mush the last like week of trying to get everything prepared and. Like I said, the, the boom didn't work yesterday, so I was like flown in a frenzy of like, oh god, I gotta get that figured out before before the weekend. And but I got the part ordered. I got an extra pop filter that George recommended because he actually has the same. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh god. Damn, this is fucked up. Dang. I don't remember coming off across something this dark before. Maybe I did and I just didn't remember it. Sorry, I'm taking all your shit. I don't know why I'm apologizing to the dead body, but yeah. Good evening, Arcane. How are you doing? I have not. We still have dark taco and then chicken taco, and we just discovered our name of our horse is Not Your Taco. <laughs> I actually love that. Dang, I wonder if this is actually part of one of the mods I added. Which wouldn't surprise me, because I don't remember something like this. But again, that was years ago too. So like sometimes I don't remember if what is in the game is actually vanilla or not. Because it's been literally five or six years since I played, so. Okay, Birdie, would you just leave the corpses there? Be honest with me. Be honest with me. Welcome in, Birdie. I hope you're doing well. Correction, welcome in. It's Birdie. Should be more specific in this case. But yeah, I'm gonna loot their bodies. If I don't loot their bodies, somebody else gonna loot their bodies and they got a lot of lockpicks for some reason. I have no idea why they have so many lockpicks, but they do have a lot of lockpicks. I'm not looting everything. I'm not taking our clothes or anything. Oh, woodcutter. Oh, hang on, here's a note. Oh, what the hell? We just got like a miscellaneous quest. See, if I hadn't been looting bodies, I wouldn't have found it. Okay, let's see our arena fans notes. Complete, okay, Never mind. I guess it was just a <laughs> one and done thing. Okay, as a fan of the Imperial... Oh wait, sorry. Okay. I was just making sure I just read Electric Man's thing about the stuff. Well, let me know if it's, uh, if anybody else gets any kind of stuttering. Again, I play with a bit rate, so I don't know how it's gonna work. I just took a bite of pizza, and I was supposed to read this. Hang on. <laughs> Okay. As a fan of the Imperial Arena and a student of history, I was very intrigued when I discovered Volume 8 of the short story collection The Crimson Dirks at a local library in Chadenhall. While the library considered it a work of fiction, I've combed over the information in the story and much to my delight found much of it to be true. For instance, there was indeed an orc who fought in dwarven mail after the Great War who rose to the rank of bloodletter before mysteriously disappearing. The same is true for the blacksmith who abandoned her shop in Cyrodiil under equally unknown circumstances. While I have nothing on the Red Guard, the name itself may be an alias, but the last sentence is most intriguing, as it implies our orc bloodletter went north to Skyrim and began fighting in the underground pits. In fact, I've heard there's an orc living in the something ruins who <laughs> matches that description right now. 
I've requested the orc meet me uh, in private so I can ask if they need him in the story uh, or the one in the story. I'm so excited. I know the book paints him as a bit unruly towards fans, but authors tend to exaggerate certain features. Besides, even if it were true, I'd be willing to bet time has softened his stance. He'll be more than pleased to meet a true fan of the arena. I can't wait. Oh, damn. It's actually a quest. Ooh, where is that ruins at? Let me get rid of my little custom thing for a minute. Where is this at? Oh, wait. Well, I need to go back there then. Let me get this question mark real quick. Interesting. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, it did have a little bit of stuttering in the cave? Uh oh. Like stuttering, or are we talking, um, whatchamacallit? Stuttering or frame rate. Or not frame rate, but frames, I guess. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> God damn it. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to press F5 and I wasn't paying attention. I pressed F9. Well, that's the thing. Orcograph, there you go. Yeah, I totally press F9 instead of F5 because I'm a dingus. <laughs> Pull the lever, Run lever. Oh my god, Pegasus, thank you for the ban. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I did that. So. Ercian the Dwarf. I probably botched that name, so I do apologize. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I did say the wrong button. I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Holy shit! <I> <laughs> <hear you. laughs> Why did that scare me? I was looking at chat and just immediately got attacked. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I never thought I would get jump scared by a rat in this game, but I did. A book called Lost Legends, what does it say? Oh damn, we got another! Jeez. Ersian? Yes! Let's go. I'm glad I got it right. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Skeever ambush, that's a good point. I should call it a skeever, right? Hello, Maris, how are you doing? Good to see you again. I say again because I saw Maris last night. Which I also hope I'm saying that correctly. If I ever botch anybody's names, just yell at me because, quite frankly, I'm just really, really bad with names. So I'm trying, but but welcome in, you guys. How are y'all doing today? Oh, what the f what? Where? What? How did you guys get up here already? Let's see what we can find. Yeah, the skeever ambush was real right there. <laughs> I can't believe I got jump scared by the skeever though, quite frankly. I blame that one on chat. I was looking at chat when it happens. I can blame you guys, right? That's how this works. You guys blame me for stuff. Eh, close enough for government work. All right. Miras. Could be Miras. Nickleod. I'm gonna make this worse. Was your last night my earlier on when I was flaming out flanker? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's it. Wait, why did I say last night? Yeah, I meant today. I told you, I am just, well, maybe I didn't tell you. I don't know how long you've been in here, but my brain has just been so scattered. No, it was totally earlier today. Because it was before my meetings, and then whenever I went into my meetings, I had to lurk. I had actually not watched any Ready or Not yet, so that was kind of cool. Because, yeah, I caught the tail end of Old World, like, ri literally right as he was wrapping that up. <sighs> I'm telling you, my brain is just... Ersian, I actually am not on a quest at the moment. <laughs> I'm on a quest of adventure. Let's... Let me be super lame and say that instead. 
I'm actually just kind of roaming around exploring some stuff at the moment. So I've got a lot of quests though. If you want to see my log right now, it's kind of ridiculous. Just a little ridiculous. I feel like most people's quest log looks like that though, so I'm not gonna feel as bad. But yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of exploring right now, kind of making our way to Riften for kind of unknown reasons. But we can shout already, so uh, we do have the ability to shout. I went ahead and got that done. Ooh, there's a friend. Why can't we be friends? Okay, burb, whale, whale snake, a whale snake. That sounds sketchy. All right, so I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be a burb. Is that a burb? Uh oh. Oh, shit. How's the, uh, how's the frames been so far in this cave, guys? Since you said there was a little bit in the last cave, potentially. if we do have any kind of stuttering or anything then I'll probably have to lower the bit rates next time. Whale. A little whale of a good time. But yeah, we're still relatively early on in the game. Uh, you know I'm gonna pick that up. <sighs> so far so good. Okay. Sorry, and now I'm just paranoid about it. Because again, I did increase the bit rate almost a thousand. <laughs> so I didn't really, I was like, well, that's normally what I run is like 5,000, but. Okay. All right, I will stop asking and I'll just let you guys tell me whenever it's borking. All right, whales and snakes. Well, boop. Woo. I actually wasn't sure what was gonna happen there. Very nice. Sorry, I'm chewing in the mic. I'm trying not to. I just realized I probably don't actually have shouts on right now. I remember it's five. Which shout is that? Yeah. That that's not a shout. Okay, five is. I'm sorry, I was trying stuff. Because I hotkeyed a couple things at the end, like, eh, almost the end of last stream. And I don't really remember what I hotkeyed because I'm not used to playing. Oh, that's another thing I didn't mention in the beginning. I've never played this on mouse and keyboard. So you guys can make fun of me as much as you want, but uh, this is a new experience for me. Where is he? Oh. Wait, wow, well, there you are, you asshole. Holy crap, you have nine you have nine hundred health? Wait, 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 wait. No, not that. Dang it, I was hoping I could push him off there, but we don't have the da part yet, so. I do have a random question, because again, it's been so long since I played vanilla Skyrim, like I don't remember. Where do you get Fo the Foos Road Da, do you get the Da part of that from the main quest line? I figured, you, yeah, you would have to, right? It's gonna be a damn bullet. Okay, we'll just come up there and kick our. Oh. Arch Mage. Thanks. But I'm guessing you get the DAW part from the main quest line, but I don't remember. And if you do, I'm guessing parts of that exclusive Oh, hang on, 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 hang on. Got here. Oh, that, I already had the right thing out. Oh, there's a spider there too. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, new follower. Just a heads up, guys, my follows are anonymous, so that way if you are just wanting to lurk in the background and not feel pressured into talking, then that is an option there for you. If you end up saying something in chat, which you definitely don't have to, uh, then I'll thank you personally. But that way you guys can just chill if you so please. I'm using Fireball constantly. Fireball is just really good for me right now. Hi, Bite Wolf. Where's my mini maracas? 
It's already been 17 months. H. Fight Wolf, let me tell you that I appreciate you very much. Thank you so much for the support. For the 17 months, the bits that you've done in the past. I just really appreciate it. So, thank you. 17 months. Even if most of the time it's used to scare the shit out of me, I still appreciate it. Oh, God. Can't wait until the next time we do more fun crowd control. The tiny maracas. That's what I should have done. I should have bought big maracas when I ordered that piece for my microphone. I've still been thinking about doing it. I just know that they would probably be insanely loud. But the new mic I'm supposed to be using, that new Shure mic. Oh, that's a Death Lord. Um, that new mic that I'm supposed to be getting. Okay, no. Gasp, thank you. Since Dark Taco's not up here, I can actually do this without him getting hurt. Ah, oh, shit, he's here now. I can't use it anymore. But that new mic I'm supposed to get is supposed to help a lot with background noise, so I'm hoping that'll be the case whenever Adam's playing games, too. Maybe I won't bake alive because I have to keep this room closed during the summer. You would have expected me to be expecting that, and yet I still jumped. It's like when I'm in the menus and I'm... Wait, what? You're joking. H. Fight Wolf, thank you for the bits. I was even just talking about it and I still got debated. Okay, hang on, wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, hold up. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be this candle. No. Let's see if there's... What in the world? I could possibly jump to it. What am I missing here? I am missing something. What the fuck? I'm not missing that. No. 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 What am I missing? What's going on here? Are you serious? He still hit me. What the dickens? What am I missing? I'm gonna try jumping for oh wait a sec. No, that's not gonna do it. I can whirlwind sprint it, maybe? But I don't feel like that's the option. I always jumped that part with the whirlwind sprint. That's what I was thinking, Bite Wolf, actually. Because I was like, I could probably do that. How far is the main jump anyway? Oh, you could probably make that normally. I'm gonna try normally once. Oh yeah, you could totally make that. I was too concerned with trying to do it the real way. I guess that's what you're... Wait, what? Huh? Now I'm even more confused. I thought it was gonna open both of them. One second. I'm so confused. How do you drop this thing? I mean, if Dark Taco doesn't come with us, then I'll live, but... What? Is there another one on this one? I am so confused. I like the real way to do that, because surely that's not the intended strat. At least I can't imagine it being the intended strat. Wow, I missed. <laughs> I don't know what you summoned, but... Oh my Lanta. Okay, yeah, I really don't get it. Well, that's fine. We got past it. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for leaving. It would be fine. Mm, so. Let me tell you, Hungry's Howie's is really good. Yet again, hashtag not sponsored. Just my honest opinion. Mm. 
I think I remember this. I'm getting some vague flashbacks from this place. Yeah, because you attack something and it like summons two people or maybe it's like apparitions of him. Like I just remember this room for some reason. Well, our friend isn't here, so I may as use, well use staff of fireballs. Yep, okay, he disappears. Yep. Oh, one can spawn back there too. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, Dark Taco, can you just like shoot them with an. Oh, come on! That is such BS. They're also sapping me of something. I don't know what exactly, but they're also sapping me with something, so. Oh, are you the real one? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, okay, hang on, now we hide for a second. Hide for a sec. Oh, that's healing hand. That is totally the wrong one. Okay, good enough. Fireballs, this would have been all right. No, don't you do that. Okay, you're an apparition. What? Oh my god, I was literally going to hit him. Dude, I love the glass armor though. It looks so cool. Okay, hang on. We're just gonna stay here. Okay, unfortunately that did not work the, the way I thought it would. Actually, what am I doing? At least this isn't as bad as the eight death lords we had to fight that one day. How's my health looking? Not terrible. Gosh dang it, I guess I should just go for him each time. Starting to think the bow and arrow would have been a good idea, so. Hello, ah! Hello, Mr. Caveman Roop. How was the rest of your truck driving earlier? Looks like you were having a good time. I don't even remember if I said anything in chat. Probably not. I'm a creepy lurker a lot of times. I don't even remember if I said something in your chat today. How are you doing? It's about 1 a.m. for you. Hope you're doing all right. Had a great rest of your day and whatnot. Ooh, this is, okay, absorbs magic. That's what I thought. And the writ of sealing. I have no idea what that is. So let's find out what that is. I didn't know if reading that would give me advice on that one dude. Rit of Sealing, what is this? Be bound here, Sigdis, murderer, betrayer, condemned by your crimes against the realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. All right, fair enough. Well, he got his ass kicked. I mean, kind of, he was kicking my ass, but uh, in the end I won, so, you know, it works. Real Mama Mercy, thank you for the hydration reminder. He does, UG. It sucks, and we don't have that ability yet. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to get more of the shouts. I am going to do my best to use different shouts than I usually do, because I feel like I always just use the same shouts over and over again. Does anybody else do that in this game, where they only use, like, two shouts and then never use anything else? Because that's, that's me all the time. So, hi, SL. Zero. I don't know what zero is, so. Uh, the driving was all good, thank you, and yes, you did pop up. Okay, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if I said anything. I know I was actually watching for quite a while. <laughs> there was a part I was watching where you accidentally ran into the back of a truck, and then you were like, okay, that's why you don't text and drive. And then the, I know Sheep raided you at one point, because I had him up, and so I had two of you up for a while. But uh, it looked like you were having a good time. And then there was like this chonker truck you were talking about. Sheldonot, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in raiders. How are you guys doing this lovely day? But I'm glad you had fun, Rube. It was, it was definitely fun. I shout normally when I stub my toe, that's fair. I always use fire, see I never use fire actually. But welcome in everybody. How are you all doing? Sheldonot, thank you so much for that raid. Playing Odyssey, of course. I, 
I'm trying to think. Whenever I last talked to you, which one were you on then? You weren't on Odd. I feel like you were playing Origins at the time, but maybe I'm misremembering. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety streamer in Arkansas in the US. I typically focus on first blind playthroughs of story-based games. That's actually how I met Sheldon Ott originally. Oh, wait, what was that? Uh, it was because of Assassin's Creed. Wait, I just picked up something cool, didn't I? Oh, wait, Dragon Priest. Oh, it's a cloak of a Dragon Priest. That's not nearly as cool as my cloak, because my cloak actually does stuff. <laughs> But welcome in everyone, we are playing Skyrim. This is not my first time playing Skyrim, but it is my first time modding Skyrim. So there's actually a lot of quest mods and locations and things that I've never done before in the game. So I'm really excited to check those out. Sunset Wolf Queen, how are you doing today? I hope you are well. Robco, thank you for getting that shout out. Please go check out our friend Sheldonot. Really nice peoples. Really nice peoples, loves the Assassin's Creed games. Like I said, that's how we, uh, Originally met Mother of Pearl. I don't remember Mother of Pearl. What am I actually looking at when I look down? Oh, I guess the. I didn't know I could see that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, a 12 hour. Can I get some happy birthdays for Sheldonot, please? Can I get some happy birthday wishes for Sheldonot? Well, happy birthday to you. I hope your stream was absolutely wonderful along with your day. So it was absolutely fantastic. That's what we absolutely love to hear. Well, then you guys should go give Sheldonot a gift by giving him a follow. I was only driving a truck because I wanted to keep chatting and that was the way of playing something at the same time. There's a lot of games like that, <laughs> Rube, that you can just like play and mindlessly talk. Uh, I've done that more than a few times. Actually, Project Zomboid was totally that game for me, honestly, because I could just mindlessly shoot zombies and talk and chill. It was great. So I see you really like streaming and that's awesome. Like I said, you have a great personality. And uh, actually, could I get a shout out for Caveman Rube? Uh, he raided us the other day and uh, I know him via Mr. Sheep ZF or ZF, depending on where you are in the world, but he is a really nice person. He started streaming about two months ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he's really nice. I, I've been watching him in the mornings. Lucas, how are you doing today? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yes, Real Mama Mercy. We actually got jump scared by uh, Meridia like early on. It was bullshit. <laughs> we actually have a clip of it, I think, somewhere, but it, uh, it legitimately scared the shit out of me because it was in Cyrodiil. It was during the Beyond Skyrim section and we came across it randomly and I was like, I looked at it, but it didn't register. And then I started reading chat and then it just jump scared me with how loud it was. So, not my birthday, Isel. Heck you. Also, Isel, I hope you're doing well, even if that's it. I am a December birthday. It's true. Then that makes two of us. Very nice. What day is yours? Because mine is on the 5th. Llamas is on the 6th. Um, George is on the 10th. Watery's is on the 15th. <laughs> we have a lot of December birthdays in and around this community. I'm sure I'll forget people, so I'm going to stop listing before somebody is like, what about my birthday? But uh, we have quite a few December birthdays. 20th of December, very nice. My brother's is also the 21st of December. So a lot of, a lot, a lot of birthdays in December around this community. Yes, 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 shout, shout a not. Thank you for the raid. Please, I, I completely understand how it is at the end of a stream. So please go take care of yourself, relax, and all of that good jazz. And we will catch you at a later date. But make sure you guys check out Sheldon Ott, guys. So. Was terrifying. I'll have to... Do you have a clip of it? I can either go back and look, or if you happen to have a clip... Oh, shit. I forgot to look into the permitting thing. SL. Crap. I forgot about that. Yes, her and her stupid beacon, and then George was using that as an alert for so long. And I forgot how damn loud it was, and then she still scared the crap out of me. Come on, come on, Skyrim up the mountain. Is that a person? That is definitely a person, and it's very creepy. Wait, what? 
hang on. For a second, I thought it was... Are you hunters? Fishermen? What? The actual fuck? You didn't even have like a... Oh, you're dead to me. You are absolutely dead. You did not just smack me, lady. You did not... Oh, sorry, Dark Taco. What the fuck? What the hell? Who, who even are you? What gives you the right? You didn't even have a, a freaking health bar. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys aren't getting away. <laughs> Treasure hunter. I was about to say my ass, but then I realized how wrong that could actually sound. Oh. There's a treasure here. Kind of a shitty treasure in, like, all honesty, but I mean... Okay. I'm taking your apples, too. You're dead. You won't need them anymore. Anywho, I'm, I'm a super nice person. My dad's the 29th. So many December people. Holy crap. September is really big, too. That's my other brother's birthday. CD's birthday is actually every day in December except for the 5th. Yeah. It used to be April 5th because I had to get chat off my back one time. <laughs> they wanted your treasure. Instead, you took theirs. Little did they know I was the treasure all along. I guess I was too close to the treasure. I had no idea who they were. I couldn't tell. And they drew their weapons long before I did. Little did they know I had the real treasure. It's called Hungry Howie's Thin Pizza. Thin crush Pizza. <laughs> I should stop talking with my mouth full. I'm gonna like spew it all over the place and be an idiot. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I think we already have one of those, but that's, I'm still going to take it. That sells well. Eleven bird. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. God damn it, do I have another disease? Okay, first of all, that lady scared the shit out of me, by the way. Because I didn't hear her, and I looked at chat, and then I looked back up, and there was a lady. I have ataxia. Great. Alright, well, need to cure my disease again. So, I will. But that's crazy. I'm so full of cheesesteak. Cheesesteak is amazing. Yeah, permit is still not working. Son of a gun. I'm sorry. I completely forgot to check that. <sighs> I will remember to check it tonight after stream. I'll do it after stream so that I don't forget going into the next day. <laughs> Sleep through December. I what imagine. Do I don't know what you're guarding. Now I'm just confused. Why? Why is there a guard? Need something? For a second, he kind of looked like the Witcher when he was laying down. Um, good old Geralt. Um, what are you guys guarding? I'm just coming in here stealing your shit. Oh, nice floating book. Nice regular book. Yeah, she did not look like a guard, but I don't know what they're guarding. Maybe they were supposed to be guarding the treasure and they slacked on their job. There's three bedrolls, only two of them. Oh wait, I didn't even see that. Oh my god, well. Well. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I was like, something? this is a problem. There's something right here I didn't see, so let's... Be careful. I'm sorry. They're not hostile, so let's go find out what's up. Let's go see what's up. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, I did. I was like, did I cure myself? Okay, who are you? You're yes. a guard. What do you need? Who are you? You're a guard. Is there somebody that actually runs this Be place? Careful. You're you a guard? Something? And you're letting me steal all your shit. I'm okay with this. It's not mm -hmm. stealing. It doesn't show up red. I have literally no idea what this place is. Okay. Hey, let's see the map real quick. I don't think there's anything else down here, so I'm actually just going to head back towards that actual mission. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I can head to that question mark, I think, and just head over that direction afterwards. So we'll do that. Well, she scared the absolute crap out of me, so... Let me go to this question mark. 
The bureaucracy involved in treasure guarding is mental. <laughs> oh, they must have really been uh, treasuring something. The treasure is the friends we made. That's what they're doing. They're guarding each other. Nothing else. They're just guarding each other. What's up, Rainy and Skittles? How are you doing today? Welcome in. Okay, you guys are fine. Some kind of farm or something. What is that person doing? Hey, you! Hey, 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 hey! I wish I could head to one of the capital cities. Okay, never mind. I actually expected her. Usually, the farms have some kind of random quest. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Good to know. There's a lot of nerd around here. Actually, I'm growing it if you hadn't noticed. Oh. I'm the only oh. person alive that can cultivate nern root from a seed to a fully grown plant. How did you accomplish such a feat? I had quite the mentor. He taught me everything he knew about the nern root and its strange properties. I haven't seen him in many years. I wonder what became of him. I wonder if that's the dude that went down and did the crimson nern root. Here's some potatoes. Honest pay for honest work. Really wasn't that honest. I got them out of something. Hi, Ray! How are you doing? Hello, hello. They probably attacked you because you didn't fill out form P820-1. No, I filled out form P820-2. That was one number off, Rube. God damn it. Couldn't become their friends. Hello, Ray Eats Cookies. How are you doing, lovely lady? Were you only just chatting tonight or were you playing? For some reason, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I saw you on God of War. What's happening? <laughs> Two back-to-back -back raids. Hello, guys. Goodness I gracious. Hello, Frayne. How are there you doing? There isn't much time for that in my life. Any One second. I'm going to say hi to everybody. Oh, my goodness. Perhaps. Is it that obvious? Between yes. the farm chores, chores. cultivating my oh, supply of nerd and keeping a tight rein on my sister There's and so Dory. many. And they There's just keep coming and they just keep rest. coming and they just keep 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 coming. I can help if you'd like. Really? Let me say that hi to everybody. That would be a pleasant change. One of the ingredients I need to cultivate nern root are jazz bay grapes. Oh, good lord. The acidic content of the juice is perfect I didn't for think the I was soil. actually going to have to go find plants. I need 20 of them for oh, my current crop. Oh, god. I should not have accepted Come that. All right. Well, I'll see if I can find grapes. But before that, let me say hi to everybody real quick. Because we had two raids back to back. Sorry, the music just shut off for a second. But... Hello, hello. H Squad, welcome in. Lovely to have you. Ray, how was your stream? Were you just streaming, just chatting, or were you also playing something? Because I think I saw in your uh, your go live on Discord that it showed the God of War screen for some reason, unless you uh, went back to that for some reason, but uh, maybe it was just like a glitch or something. But Ray, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it, guys. Please go follow Ray Eats Cookies. She's a wonderful individual amazing lady i've gotten to know via danger actually and uh, she streams all sorts of different stuff similar to what i like as far as like first blind playthroughs of story based games so go follow her and then second while you're following people you need to go f check out frayne as well who was playing some warhammer for 40k i was gonna say 40 that 4 000 i'm like that's not right i know it's 4 000 or pfft, fuck. 40,000, 40k, I'll just go with that. I'm telling you, my words are just not here tonight. How was your stream, Frayne? We met Frayne through a whole bunch of, like, grapevine people, originally through, like, KJ's community down to more people, so nice web of awesomeness. And Frayne plays a lot of different stuff as well, so I've caught a little bit of everything on Frayne's stream, so please do yourself a favor, follow both of those content creators so you can get a lot more epic content. It may not be Skyrim. <laughs> Kid love you. How are you doing? Soda Pop, welcome in and thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. For everybody coming in, hi, my name is CD. I'm a variety streamer from Arkansas in the US. There's not a lot around me, so I play video games. <laughs> oh god damn it, Pegasus. Got any grapes? Got any grapes? He said to the man running the stand, hey, got any grapes? God damn it, that's so funny. Pegasus, thank you for the 111 bits. I appreciate it. Like I said, I am CD, variety streamer, Arkansas US. I work, I play video games, I try to entertain, and uh, we mostly play first blind playthroughs of story based games, and this is the first time I've ever modded Skyrim. So uh, all of the modded content is brand new. So I was watching The Simpsons God of War mod. Oh, okay, because I was so confused. 
I was so confused because I'm like, I thought she beat God of War. So I was really, well, actually, I know you beat God of War because I watched the reaction to it. So just chatting tonight and then onward to Horizon Forbidden West Thursday and this weekend. Sounds awesome. Well, thank you so much for the raid, lady. If you need to take off, I completely understand. But I will tell you that Maudie and Skyrim has gone wonderful. This game is amazing. And I love it. <laughs> actually, I don't even know. Have you ever played Skyrim, right? I know that's a weird question because most people have, but you never know. So... You're gonna have to go far for those grapes yippee i'm not even looking at it 4000 would be a very different game i completely agree frayne but thank you both very much for those raids i really appreciate it so shit i thought you were done no you're good pegasus it just made me laugh because i was like oh that's such a good reference for this anybody knows doesn't know what i'm talking about there's something called the uh, the duck song i almost said the duck song. <laughs> okay where's my brb screen <laughs> I need to like go wash my mouth out and drink lots of water and figure out why my brain is so scattered tonight. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? I am so out of it. I have a YouTube channel, Soda Pop, but I will be honest with you, there is almost next to nothing on my regular channel. Uh, I do have an archive channel that I update weekly with uh, previous streams, so if you like like watching other like old stream playthroughs vods and stuff then there's a lot of good things on there like the first time i played dark souls or until dawn or red dead redemption 2 or just all sorts of different playthroughs on there jokes on you i already followed frayn earlier today fuck yeah rube <laughs> okay hang on bad bad bear bad bear i've been poisoned by oh fuck sorry down down asshole you Jerk stuff, I'm sorry. Get off my booty. Oh, thank God, I thought it was, I thought it was getting the critical on me. Kid, I'm glad you're doing well today. <laughs> I confess I never really got into it. That is okay, Frame. Um, I still love Skyrim, but Oblivion's actually one of my top five favorite games of all time. So Oblivion is amazing. Not on stream though. Gotcha, Ray. That's that. That makes so much more sense. Gotcha. Hello, DMA, Tutib. I probably botched the heck out of that. Could have been said all sorts of different ways. I do have a chicken. So this is Dark Taco, our follower, Kitty Cat, Khajiit, and this is Chicken Taco named by the community. I don't know, I'm not repeating what I said earlier. I didn't mean to say it. The duck song, go look the duck song up. Hi, ducky, how are you doing? You have a song after you that talks about wanting grapes. Did you know that? The wildlife is uniting. <laughs> God sakes. <sighs> Who gave the abarid? <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, how did I get poisoned? But it was actually the freaking spider. Who are these That's people? close enough. Oh. Wait, bandit? Oh, fuck that. Never come here. I did. It's a bandit. We gotta save people. I, I probably should have saved before this. Chicken, fight for me! Fight for your dragonborn! Hello, Infrex, how are you doing? Bear that learned poison. Oh. Okay, that works. Damn, Mother Nature, you scurry. That's close enough. Oh, whoa, wait. Oh, God. I was gonna say it. I think it just broke the game. Yeah, no, you're, you're dead, too. I don't want to accidentally hurt one of them. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. I just saved you. Can you at least, like, thank me first? <laughs> the game's like, oh, no, bish. We already gone. <laughs> Yes, and not your taco is the name of our horse. <laughs> I do, I have a chicken companion room. I'll show you a little bit better here in a second. Nightmare Protocol, how are you doing? Ugly chicken. Yeah, I did say chicken, specifically chicken taco. Yes, I do, <laughs> congrats, Ducky. I'm sorry if I've missed anything in chat, I've tried to keep up. Hello, Pixie, how are you doing? Don't say before the fight, YOLO. I do not only live once in this universe, Miss Pixie. How are you doing, lady? Looks like you had a killer stream earlier. Not just any chicken, it's a bloodthirsty Viking chicken. It is, though. It is. Well, here you go. Yes? Uh, okay. 
That's that's what I said. You're welcome. God, no decency. But I do have a chicken named Chicken Taco. This is our combat chicken. <laughs> I didn't add very many silly mods into this, but uh, as soon as I saw you could have a chicken companion, um, that's all I needed to know. So we have a chicken companion and there's actually a quest with it. Hang on. It gets better, chat. It gets better. Where is it? Chickens. We have to go and kill the evil chicken brothers that apparently gain too much power. And apparently if you kill these chickens, then your chicken gets powers. It's like crazy whacked out and awesome but uh yeah it's got a little iron helmet it's so cute so yeah this is chicken taco and this is dark taco his name is dartarto but dark taco is just way easier to say and chat suggested it and i loved it so here we are and uh we also have dark chi uh, dark taco supreme he's our kitty cat that chills back in white run and we have not your taco which is our horse because we aren't making tacos out of horse meat Whew! i think that explained everything so yeah, awesome lady. Yeah, I was lurking in there for a little while watching you play. Congrats on getting so many of the bosses done today. I think all I ever saw you whenever I was lurking in there was you were just running around. So I don't even think I got to see you fight a boss. It does, it has a helmet. Hi, Org knock. I missed. You're mine. The chicken section. Oh, you are in really cool stuff. Holy shit, he's so fast. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Chicken, go get him. Go get him, chicken. Now I'm saving. Chicken, get him. Okay, don't hurt my chicken. I, I don't know. No, actually, okay, I, I take it back. I will fight for my honor. Don't hurt my chicken. Oh, I just hurt my chicken. Now he's fried chicken. Now he's a fried chicken toxin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, Shot. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. Chicken's still alive. He, he's just a crispy chicken taco now. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I hope you're doing well, and I hope... If nothing else, you can at least laugh for a moment. Okay, thanks for your armor. Oh my goodness. Dark Sako Supreme is not a dick. That kitty was nice. There was other kitties in the game that like hissed at me and wouldn't let me pet them and I was upset about it. <laughs> I was actually upset. They wouldn't let me pet them and I was so sad. DMA, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your time here. He's just a chicken nugget. No, I can't call him chicken nugget, Rue, because then Novi will try to eat it. Or sheep, but specifically Novi. She's the one that likes nugs. Oh, speaking of Novi, um, I didn't mention it in this week's um, schedule, guys, because I didn't know until today, because me and her just talked about it, but we are continuing It Takes Two on Monday, so... Just a heads up, if you guys enjoyed watching me and her play It Takes Two together, we actually have our next stream is going to be 12 o'clock CDT uh, next Monday to continue playing that. So just a heads up, because I know a couple people were asking. So yeah. Rebrand hype! Pixie, I'm so excited. I got my Excel Stream Deck done and my Elgato Key Light installed yesterday. Uh, we're going to test my new microphone on Thursday, and I need to finish up the stream element stuff, but OBS is pretty much done except for getting the last of the stream element alerts in, and I need to fix the chat box, and I need to get the lower thirds on timers. Other than that, like, I know it sounds like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't have much left. So, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Sorry, if you guys don't know already... We have a complete rebranding coming to the channel, and it's finally here after a year of, I mean, it's been like a year and a half ever since the planning stages, a year ago that we started raising funds for it, and about three weeks ago when I, two weeks ago, when I got all the assets, so it is officially 
happening. A huge rebranding of the channel. We're talking alerts. We're talking sub badges, uh, scenes, uh, lower thirds, editable schedule, YouTube intro, like basically damn near everything except for the actual alert audio and the emotes are being changed. Everything else is gone. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy. So what I'm saying is you should probably be here on Saturday, like at 12. <laughs> I'm super excited for it though. It's uh, it's like the culmination of everything that I've been working towards as far as like being a streamer on Twitch to like finally have something to call my own besides this community, which I love, but I think it'll be like representative of how far this community has gone. So hi, you Blackbird. How are you doing? Oh, true. Nobody likes nugs. I love nugs, too. Well, then I definitely can't call the chicken nugs or chicken nugget because then you guys are going to be all over my chicken. I mean, chicken tacos are pretty good, too. Who doesn't like chicken nuggets? That's a good point. But I mean, sheep has a freaking nugget. Oh, I just got an achievement. Uh, sheep has a freaking nugget emote because Nobi and him love their nugs so much. Don't you dare. I will shoot you. Okay, I didn't get to shoot you, but. Side 90 looks side 90 heart. Pixie, thank you so much for the two month resub. I really appreciate that, lady. Thank you very, very much. I kind of forgot I had a light. Hang on, hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Boop! I still have that button because I had to rework all my stuff on my stream deck, so. Oh, can I get up here? Oh. Hi. Oh, I missed. I missed. Miss Pixie, thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate it. We've had so many shout outs today, but can I also get a shout out for Miss Pixie? She actually just uh, applied for partnership just yesterday. It was yesterday, right? Or was the day before? Regardless, she just applied for a partnership here on Twitch. So we hope all the best for her. Uh, hope she gets it. She's a lovely lady. She plays a little bit of everything as well. Yes. We have a lot of variety streamers around here. And uh, she's currently playing some Elden Ring for the first time. So she's awesome. She's also part of one of the stream teams I'm on, the Pug Club. So go follow her. I need to buy Novi dinner or something. Shit, I didn't get to read all that, Rube. She bought me dinner and I have to repay it. Just give her lots of nugs. Lots and lots of nugs. Pours out of 40 in memory of the Yoshi. So I was still thinking about using the Yoshis as follower emotes. If and when, uh, you know, I can get that partnership though. Uh, we'll see if, uh, we'll see about putting the Yoshi emotes in the follower slots. Have like the classic. We'll have old and busted new hotness emotes. <laughs> oh really, Asel? I've called them nugs for a while. I think whenever I'm trying to tell people what I'm eating, I'll just say chicken nuggets. But anytime I go to like Wendy's or something, I'm like, Adam, what do you want? A burger or nugs? Or now I just say burg because that's what I call it whenever I give Sam us a piece of my burg. <laughs> I was under orders. Just kidding. <laughs> a little bit of both. No, we, we love supporting amazing, awesome content creators, and we've just gotten graced by so many awesome content creators' presence. Hi, Silverleaf. How are you doing? How was your workout? And, um, yeah. That's good to see you. <laughs> Sounds good, Rube. Thanks for stopping by. Look forward to catching you some more in the mornings. It's always a good time for me to, like, if I'm running through emails, I tend to lurk in, uh, a lot of our European friends chats and stuff in the mornings. So have a wonderful night. We will see you later. All right, so let me see. You don't want to know what happens if we just defy CD's orders. Pizza. Gold pizza now, but it's so pizza. I was like, why am I going so slow? Hmm. Nope, don't want that. Oops, 
Shit. Shoot, did that just mess my... Yes, it did. There we go. Old and busted. New hotness. Old and busted. New hotness. I love that phrase. Uh, uh, CD way off topic, but did you have to do anything to get Minecraft working again or did it just finally take hold? Um, it was, I had to update it a cell. There was a small update that I had to run to, uh, to get it going. So I just popped on it. It, it didn't take more than just a few moments. So nothing outside of the usual. Um, I don't like the frenzy. Ice storm. I thought I already... Have I been carrying that one with me? Akintosh. Okay. That sounds cool, but I don't want to use it. The dwarven mail looks really cool. I like that a lot. I wonder if that's part of something special. I'm sure it is. Oh, that's a quest item. Yep, yep. Sorry, I gotta get some sheets out of my inventory. Because I have too much stuff. I am a heavy chunker. And I am such a hoarder. That'll be fine, though. Excuse me. Oh yeah, no, that wasn't that far off the topic. I, again, I still want to do that um, that scavenger hunt. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, I know we've talked about this in the past, but it hasn't come up recently, chat. But uh, for anybody that didn't know, we actually have a Minecraft server for, um, for our subscribers and I've had it open for a while and uh, people kind of stopped using it and then there's been a resurgence of it so I was originally going to shut it down uh this like literally in two days but the new update just came out so I decided to leave it open for this month and if people are playing it I'll leave it open for you know another two or three months and uh, so sometime on stream relatively soon from now uh, what I wanted to do is have a day where just everybody in the community can get in and join and just run around and find stuff and explore. Uh, because I do want to ultimately reset that world at some point. And so I was figuring the next time people really got into Minecraft, then we would do like a complete uh, overhaul and start from fresh. But in the meantime, at least people Most could get in the world, things. explore, check things out. There's all sorts of stuff that we Someone actually had there. Wait, what? Somebody help. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I forgot what I was doing. I completely... Wait, what? Wait, what? Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? I'm so confused. I just... I forgot at where, I, like where I went for a minute. I just needed to store stuff. What's going on here? <sighs> Finally, reinforcements have arrived. Sure. I was expecting more, though. You'd better be good. Okay, jerk. I'm the best. Good. The place is crawling <laughs> with bandits. We lost some good men trying to take it earlier. Okay. I suspect Brurid planned this. I don't know There's who that is. There's been bad blood between us since the king's death. But to invade it was my home, to sell you. kidnap my family. Oh damn. Sounds like more than just bad blood. You ask a lot of questions for a mercenary. Just get in there and open the gate. We'll try and provide help once that's done. I am 100% in the game, Llama, yes. What can I expect in return for my help? My family is everything to me. Clear the fort, and on top of the post of reward, oh, you can have I guess whatever there was a post items of reward you'd somewhere. like. Somehow I got a feeling I don't have I this quest yet. I wish we could offer more help, but our last attack went sour. And we're all good luck. When do you mod anyway, Llama? You're more like a glorified mod. <laughs> God, 
down just like that. <laughs> well, Llama also... Nah, you're not wrong. I was gonna say two things to that. First of all, Llama left me in voice chat all alone earlier. Like, he didn't even come back and say anything. And then number two, I actually showed off that bean picture Llama to chat. I, I saved it to my computer and showed everybody bean because he was so freaking adorable. Absolutely, Sheldon. Not. Thank you again for that raid. Have a wonderful night, and we will see you later. And I hope you had the absolute bestest of birthdays you could possibly you have. Something? Yeah, I am calling him out again. He was sitting in a voice chat. I'm like, oh, I'll talk to my friend Llama. And then I hopped in there for 30 minutes and he never said a word. He told me later that he, you know, he told me later that he was in there. But that was also 20 minutes before, well, no, actually, I think I left about like 30 minutes before I had to stream because I had to blow dry my hair and get food and stuff. I don't know what happened to all the bandits. I'm starting to think Dark Taco had something to do with their death. Their untimely death. Because uh, I don't see any more bandits. And I'm pretty sure there were more bandits here. So, oh, what the? No, uh, you can try. Thank you for the lurk, Rain and the Skittles. I was alone for so long I forgot I was in there. It's BS. You were in the dialogue. I think it's funny how Lom was like, oh, but if you demod me, then give me my diamond. Ha. Huh. Thinks he's so mm -hmm. good. Nah, he called my bluff. I would give him a diamond. Oh wait. There's someone there? Yeah, I don't know what happened to these bandits. Oh, I think the bandits were trying to follow me. And then I ran all the way around the other side. That had to be what happened. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, new follower. Hope you are doing well tonight. Alright, so I'm just gonna quick save real quick. Quick save real quick. Alright, we got the gate open. Mm -hmm. Bruid? He's a rogue mage who defected at the beginning of He's the all war. Shiny. I turned him in. That's the but apparently he escaped. And now this. If you don't want a mod anymore, Lama, Until I next will time. I will release you back into the wild. All right. Oh, these are cute little barrels. Oh my God, look how adorable these look. <laughs> Why are they so cute? Okay, did anybody else think those barrels were adorable or is it just me being overly silly? Cause I think they look cute. Oh, wait a second, we got some. Time for stealth archery. Don't you set that off, I swear. They're little baby barrels. They're super cute. I would like a little barrel. That would be adorable. See, I know I'm a spell sword, but I'm still gonna take advantage of this. Son of a bitch. Well, I didn't... Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Okay, it kind of worked. I didn't know what was gonna happen, so it kind of worked. Make a fine one, also, my shot didn't hit him, so I guess stealth archer doesn't matter when you can't actually hit something. Get him, chicken. Get him. Get him, chicken. Not like this. Okay. I was waiting for the chicken to finish him off, but he didn't. His axes are cool, though. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take everything. Give me your shields. 
Give me my arrow back that I utterly failed at hitting. I have no idea what's going on. I hear talking in the background, but... I don't think that's for me. I think one of, um, wait. PJs, are you still here? If you're in a lurk, don't worry about answering me. I just thought of something. But I don't know if you were here. Kofi could suck hamster eggs? Wait, why? What a do or why? <laughs> a fine outfit. I think I need one of those for something later. Hamster eggs is an interesting term. Okay, if PJs comes into chat again and I don't realize it and I've completely forgotten something, just say PJs is in chat and remember dragons and I'll remember what I've wanted to tell him. Kofi. It's the, the program that I've, well, I say program, the one of the things that I started using for a way to donate to the community if you want. Wait, did anybody, random thing that I just remembered, did anybody um, answer that question I'd asked earlier about where you get dot? Is that from Parthenax? Your best, huh? I think I just accidentally hit my chicken. My chicken won't go for the final blow, and it kind of makes me sad because that would be like the ultimate BM. Is if my chicken just like bit them. <laughs> Heavy Lothbrok shield. Take that and that and that and that. This and that and this and that. And that. Don't hurt Come my on. chicken. This is the end. There we go. Jerk. Well, I can see now. I can see clearly now the bandit's dead. It's gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. I'm guessing you actually don't have the alerts for that turned on or does it have alerts? It does n actually, I do not have them turned on. I actually am not 100% sure if there is an alert. And now I'm sad because if you did something, I'm sorry that I missed it. And I would need to go and look at it manually. So I'm sorry. Cause that's actually probably my fault. Because since it was part of, like, I mean, not part of the rebrand that we did, Kofi, just, like, part of, like, changing everything over. Oh, okay. I didn't do. And now I'm not so sure. You're not saying random words. Now I have to go look it up. <laughs> Hi, Loki. How are you doing? That's a shiny sword you got there. Thank you. This is one of the glass swords from... I don't remember which mod. But I know it's either... Well, I mean, it's it's mirrored after all of the Oblivion glass weaponry, if you ever uh, did any of that. How are you doing today? Why can't I just look at a specific page? Can I just do backslash? Now this all's got me, like, paranoid. I can't read it all. Wait, now I'm really confused. Gosh dang it, hang on. I gotta pull that up on freaking desktop real quick because I can't, it's doing weird. Yeah, this one is a very specific type of uh, glass sword, but yeah, I have, I have glass swords and glass, uh, Glass armor in the game, Loki. It's really cool, though. I could be better, but I'm not too bad. Well, I'm sorry to hear that you're not doing the greatest, but I hope that uh, whatever is 
not going well for you gets a lot better. Hello, Mr. Yonder. How are you doing? But yeah, this is the look at the glass sword. So it's uh, from basically the Oblivion. Not that specific design, but it's, uh, the whole glass weapon stuff. And then this is currently the glass uh, armor that I'm wearing, except for the boots, I think, are elven still. But I really like this. It looks awesome. Yonder, yonder. Welcome in, good sir. Thank you so much for that raid. Getting a lot of raids tonight. Ooh, Shadow Run. How is Shadow Run? I'm gonna look at Kofi real fast because I can't really tell on mobile because it's not really designed well for mobile. So I can't tell what is going on there. So let me just look at it real fast. Because now I'm even more confused. Oh, okay, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> Okay, it cracked me up. Well, thank you very much to El Segundo de la No Español. The second that doesn't know Spanish, apparently. <laughs> I'm even more confused because the message is 119. <laughs> thank you very much to El Segundo de la No Español for the $10 Kofi. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that uh, I don't have that that completely set up yet because that was supposed to be part of the alerts for the the rebrand stuff so i'm working on it <laughs> that's so funny thank you so much for the ten dollars i really do appreciate it but soon soon throw my my whole week that's all oh man that stinks though my friend super glued my deck of playing cards i can't deal with it <laughs> God, Kuma. How are you doing, Kuma? It's good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you, Yonder, for that raid. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is CD. We're playing modded Skyrim. I don't want to talk everybody's ears off because I feel like I've done that a lot tonight. But feel free to hang out if you like story-based games played blind, except Skyrim is, like, not blind, but the modded content, which is, like, there's a lot of modded content, is all blind. Welcome in. Happy to have you. VC, how are you doing? Loki, I will just hope that uh, your next week is a lot better, my friend. And yes, I freaking love the look of this armor. It's incredible. So as soon as I started focusing on light armor, I knew I wanted to get it. And Kuma, how are you doing? I'm starting to get a lot more of your uh, of your jokes whenever you first come in. I know there's been a couple that have gone completely over my head in the past. <laughs> Yonder, uh, yeah. Shadowrun. Shadowrun is good times, great fun. I haven't seen or played Shadowrun and I don't know how long. It There was a Shadowrun. Okay, answer me this. Shadowrun Returns, when did that game come out? Cuz the only Shadowrun I ever actually played a little bit of was a and with an ex-boyfriend which this was a long time ago in like 2007, 2006, 2007. That was the only shadow run I'd ever played. I realize that this is still kind of a little uh, this way. There. I had to move stuff around yesterday, so my camera might be a little bit off. One second, I don't know Spanish. 119, like the cost it would take for the month. Of oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That yeah. makes so much more sense now. I didn't understand the 1.19. You didn't need to pay for the server. I've been paying for the server for the last however long we've had it open. I was just gonna take it down because so many people didn't use it anymore, but I've left it open because I know you've been enjoying it. So thank you very much to El Surifundo something something. Duolingo. Oh god, fuck no. Are you keeping up with your lessons? Uh, I was doing really good with it for a long time, and then I lost my streak, and then I wasn't very motivated. Okay, Mr. Duolingo Owl, okay? What is going on right now? It is always fun raiding you side. You rock. No, you. I'll find my reverse Uno card and use it here in a second. Yonder. Oh, he, he's destroying them. Okay. Goodness gracious, what all is going on here? Okay, Duolingo Owl, thank you for the 
Two dollars. Yanni, thank you for the hundred bits. Dina, thank you for the two hundred fifty bits. How are you doing today? Goodness gracious. Days off work to chill and get some other stuff dealing with. Uh, one being downloading Elden Ring. That took three hours? Holy crap. Oh, have you not started Elden Ring yet, Kuma? If not, I was just unaware that you hadn't started it yet. And if so, are you going to be streaming it? Because I did not know. If, well, actually, no. I, I think I forgot that uh, I knew you streamed because I'm pretty sure you'd raided me once before. And then I had completely forgotten that fact, or whatever the case may be. Pretty sure I just completely forgot. And uh, I happened to see you on my recommended the other day. I'm like, oh, fuck, Kuma streaming. So I went and followed you then. So I'm curious if you're going to be streaming it. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, new follower. But yes, I didn't explain myself very well, but happy to have you guys. I'm just a chill, chatty person from Arkansas in the U.S., and I play a lot of story-based games, and uh, it's been five to six years since the last time I played Skyrim all the way through, like 100% it, or did any of the like companions, or the College of Winterhold, or anything like that. So uh, we're doing all of that on this top of fraud. also going to be doing all of the modded content. What the hell? Oh, I need to take off whatever the forward walk button being C, because I accidentally keep hitting that. Okay, I'm actually getting hurt a little bit. Hang on. Ooh! Nope. <laughs> okay, now I'm good. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, what is it? That's not Daedric, is that? Where are those other people that were supposed to be helping us anyway? Isn't there somebody that, that was supposed to be helping us? Wow, okay. That all happened. But Yonder, I am glad to hear that you had a lot of fun. Guys, make sure you go check out Mr. Yonder Yonder, another awesome variety content creator who does a little bit of everything. Yonder, have you checked out the uh, the new... I'm going to get the name wrong because I don't remember what it's called, but have you checked out the new My Time at Porsche game? Because I know you really liked the original. And I've heard really good things about the next one. But I haven't gotten to see you. <laughs> that DML just sits there and taunts you. Yes, thank you again, Duolingo Owl, for giving me, like, PTSD from uh, remembering that the owl will just keep coming after my soul if I don't actually. He does have daydream stuff. That looks really... I don't know if I really like this part of the daydream stuff. I think I like the original Daedric look better, but oh uh, god, of course I'm overcumbered. Sandrock, is that what it is? Uh, I need to trade some stuff with you. <laughs> oh god, what's going on there with the thing? Um, let's do that. I know I just stored stuff, but I'm gonna do it again real fast. No, not yet. So I'm almost done with Portia, then my computer died. It's almost fixed. Oh man, I actually didn't know that. I'm sorry to hear. I do own it though. I'll check it out in a few weeks. Fair enough. I just knew you really liked my time at Portia, and I know I caught you playing that a couple times, so. Wasn't sure if you'd gotten a chance to dive into the other one yet. Glad to hear your PC's almost fixed though. That is very unfortunate. I feel like there was something weighing me down a whole bunch. Maybe I do. Oh, I picked up like some of the steel stuff. I usually don't pick that kind of stuff up because it's not very beneficial. Definitely keeping the Daedric armor. I can't believe we're already in Daedric armor already. Okay, good enough for now. Let's go. Don't go to solitude, the weather is abysmal. 
Zena, how are you doing today, by the way? Thank you again for those bits earlier. You have a kitty named Sugar following you? Aww. That's cute. Oh, I forgot I had a level. Um, let's keep working on magic. Go ahead and do that. Good, can't complain. That's yeah, good. I'm glad to hear that. Tired of getting this on. Yeah, I'm really kind of confused because that one dude's not with us in the fort here, so I don't really know what happened. Because he said we were like, going to go in here and bust some skulls, and his family got taken or something, but. He's not with us, and we're clearing out this place without him. Is someone there? That is not the right spell. When I'm doing good, I can find things to complain about. You have to just be more creative. Wait, you call BS on what? Alright, let's grab some of this stuff. Gra I hope I did not mean to grab that. Oh, I definitely don't want that. Ah! Chat, guess what time it is! Guess what time it is? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, well, after that, we're going to go ahead and play a flute. recognize it. I definitely can. Even with how bad it was. At least you get you can only get better from here. That was the first time we'd done a flute. I had never done a flute yet. It was funny because as soon as I said I was doing it, Llama's like, I'm leaving. E Blackbird, I saw something about a message. I'd missed it earlier, but you said something about getting a slushy, I think. What kind of slushy did you get? Also, PJs, PJs, PJs. Um, you'd asked about like what mods I would recommend um, there was like we have come into a contact with a couple dragons whichever mod I have that changes the way that the dragons are um, they use all in-game assets so it's not actually like a retexture from outside the game but they make the dragons different it's really cool so I didn't ask your opinion dark taco but I definitely recommend that one because it's really cool because we had like a couple different style dragons now. That's what I was trying to remember to tell PJs earlier. So. Oh God, Rob go. Oh, you still haven't left. Okay, sorry. I only caught like a portion of it because there was a lot of chat going on earlier. I just wanted to make sure you knew I didn't miss it. I just, I read the something convenience store slushy. That's all I got. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so great though! The freaking Harry Potter theme. That's so funny. Better not get DMCA'd for that. <laughs> uh. Will you enjoy your slushy? <laughs> I totally forgot, Asel. Totally forgot. Totally. 
Man, this place is massive. Oh, that's another thing, Leilani. I'm so glad you mentioned that, actually. Chat, hashtag not sponsored, should have made a Twitter post about it because it would have gone crazy. Just kidding. But did you know that Frost, or uh, that Wendy started making strawberry Frosties? I don't know how long ago that debuted, but I went to Wendy's today for lunch and it's they have easy thing strawberry to Frosties. It's a huge change from and it was actually pretty damn good. So just a heads up, if you like strawberry and Frosties, then you might try it. I know, right, Asel? Yeah, because I I don't know how long it's been there, because I feel like what's going on here? I've been to. Sure, you can. I I feel like I've been to Wendy's not too terribly long ago, and they didn't have it, so. But yeah, went to Wendy's today, and they have strawberry fr strawberry um, frosties. At least they did at my location. <laughs> you have that song in your easy book, very nice. I think I might have a, uh, a sheet music for it, but I think it's like way past my level at this point. So I was hoping I would be able to play it eventually. I just realized it's starting to get pretty dark in here. Do you guys want light on or off? I do have the new light, by the way, which isn't gonna make it look much different than it did before, but... Oh, fuck. Jesus, how... There's so many... Sorry, Dark Taco. Well, I'm trying to, but if you keep getting in my way, I can't really do much about it now, can I, Dark Taco? You're right, you're dead. And you're dead. And... Now you're all dead. Dark Taco, please don't die. I don't want Dark Taco to die, but I really wanted to hit that thing down. I think the chicken just killed somebody. <laughs> I think. Pretty sure. I did find out that they make cereal now? What? Wendy's? What? Just got there and will be available through July 3rd. Honestly, I thought it was pretty dang good. So, yeah, Strawberry Frosties, guys. At least give it a try. You know, they got the little junior frosties, so you can at least try it. Nice, Leilani. I don't blame you. Sounds like a solid choice to me. Yeah, I got just like one of the junior ones just to try it because originally they were like, do you want to try the new strawberry frosting? I'm like, I was like, do I? <laughs> and then I was like, no. And then like at the end of the order, I'm like, OK, put on a junior or junior frosty and me and Adam will try it. And it, it was good. I liked it. So. Hello, Bambani. How are you doing? Welcome back. I couldn't remember exactly what I said last time for your name, so. Welcome back. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Welcome in to our chats. Wait, to Skyrim? Then what was the point of going through all this shit? Now I'm really confused. Wait, what? Hmm? You... And you guys are just here? I'm so confused. Yes? I... What? What? He's a rogue mage who defected at the beginning of Did the I war. Did I take a... I turned him in, but apparently he escaped. And now this. I am really confused. Hang I... on. Yes? Did we get a... Oh, use the back door. Oh. Oh. Um, yes. Oh, I hope I didn't fuck that whole thing up. 
It is now and food's amazing. Thank you very much, Silverleaf. Oh, that sounds good, Leilani. Um, well, I might have just screwed up this whole quest. We'll see. Because it said go in the back. I definitely didn't go in the back. Something? And they're there. So I guess I'll go back in. Oh, no, it updated. Use the lever. Are you serious? Wait, what? Okay, well, I broke the whole quest. It's fine. Correction. I didn't break the quest. I just did it in the exact opposite order that you were supposed to do it in. Now, it's chicken, and then there's also strawberries. <laughs> I'm not like a huge, huge strawberry fan, but I did like the Frosty today and it probably is just artificial flavors to be honest with you, I don't know. Um, but uh, I really like Neapolitan ice cream. When I was a kid, that was what I always wanted my parents to get. Neapolitan just always tasted so good to me. It's simple, it's just vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, but when you mix those together, it just tastes so good. Am I the weird one out here? Because I feel like when people talk about like, their ice cream flavor choices. Nobody ever mentions Neapolitan. <laughs> Rocky Road has nuts in it, doesn't it, Kuma? Neapolitan and Napoleon were not the same thing. I'm very Neapolitan. Can't beat black raspberry. But yeah, what's in Rocky Road? There's something... Okay, it's the nuts that I don't like in Rocky Road. Because I felt like there was something in there that I didn't really care for, and that's why I'm not a big Rocky Road person. Mm -hmm. The fort is yours! Thank you for your help. Did you see my family inside? They did. Oh wait, never mind. That wasn't them. No, Hopefully I didn't. they made it to safety before the attack. I'll begin the search after a quick restock. Anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again. A life detect home? That's I... it? Are you kidding me? <sighs> wow. I have been paid more for less, sir. No, no. Alright, let me look for any question marks. We got some question marks to the south. Nothing really to the east. Alright, we'll just move along here. Fine. Rocky Road is chocolate, nuts, and marshmallow. See, I do like marshmallow. Marshmallow and uh, ice cream is perfectly fine. If you guys ever go to like Cold Stone or something similar to Cold Stone, like Marble Slab, or I'm sure there's probably a lot of other places, but those are the two places I know of. What are like the best toppings you guys get on stuff? Cause I am super boring. Like I'll get like a good flavored ice cream and then I'll get like cone pieces and. Like cookie dough maybe and brownie bits if they have it. Like, I don't get, like, crazy with my cold stone creations and whatnot. And every time we go, Adam gets, like, some crazy thing that I've never even seen before or heard of before. And I'm just like, ah, I'm good. Like, I just want my, my chocolate with some, some cone bits in it, because I love, I love, love, love waffle cones. I'm a plain Dane vanilla fan all day, but I do like my rainbow sprinkles. That's fair. Rainbow sprinkles are a solid choice. I'd be on board for that. I'm even more boring. Ice cream should not have toppings or at most hot fudge. See, Adam really likes the shell. Like he doesn't care for say like Hershey's just syrup. He really, really likes the shell. Has to be a shell. This is very specific. <laughs> I learned that one day. Rainbow sprinkles and uh, that's it. Fair enough. 
that's fine. Hot caramel, caramel, caramel for me. I don't, I do like caramel, but I think I like it more with chocolates than I do actually in ice cream. It's been forever since I've had it, so I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to love ice, uh, chocolate ice cream and chocolate sprinkles. Solid. Hello, Ripflex. How are you doing today? Do you even Skyrim? I don't know. I haven't put like 200 hours in three or in uh, in a week in it yet, so I must not be a true Skyrim fan. Peanut butter flavored ice cream. I can't say that I've really had. I don't think I've ever had peanut butter flavored ice cream. That could be pretty good, Yuji. I'd be on board with that. Well, now we all got. Now we all want ice cream, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a short book. The Journal of Meresi Dran on Agarvonde. Whispers of this ancient temple happen few and far between, and most real knowledge seems simply a similar to An Angaravonde itself, buried and forgotten. Yet every story or legend I hear all seem to speak of an immeasurable riches found deep within. Great treasure waits for the worthy adventurer, said one old fool after many false flirtations and tankards of meat. Though he may have been a nuisance, his information matches most of my research, specifically the location of Angarvande. Tomorrow, I will hire a mining team to assist me in my evacuation and head towards the ruin. By this time next month, I shall be rich. Or dead. Could be dead. Black, blue raspberry and cherry. I can't really handle blue raspberry. It's it's always too tart for me. But I hope it tastes wonderful, you blackbird. See, I've never had mochi. I've never had like mochi flavored almost anything. I feel like I tried a Kit Kat bar. See, now I'm more about the shake combos you can make at cookout. What's cookout? I've never heard of that nightmare protocol. But hey, a good solid shake and I'm on board. You don't have to tell me twice. Hi, Denny Shady. How are you doing? Good to see ya. Hope you're well. Oh, the slush puppies. Cowards, every one of them. Running at the first sign of trouble. Oh, hey, this lady's still alive, actually. Oh, I didn't see you there. You seem troubled. Of course I'm troubled. I'm on the verge of incredible wealth. But my cowardly workforce ran at the first sign of danger. Okay. They ran at the first sign of danger to society? What assholes? She's beautiful. <laughs> what scared them off? We were excavating this old tomb when we opened a chamber full of corpses. The team took one look, turned tail, and ran. Mochi. Got it. Hi, Silent. How are you doing? Cookout is greatest? Obviously, it's a restaurant. Cookout is a great fast food chain in the Carolinas. I've never heard of it. We used to go to the Carolinas for vacation, but that was when I was a young kid, so I didn't pay attention to stuff like that. This one wonders to himself See, I do... Yeah, I... I don't like having bubblegum flavored anything that's not bubblegum. That's just me though. Like it, it free, like it's a mental thing, I think. Haven't they seen uh, haven't they seen dead bodies before? Well, probably not like these. The ones in there are all still walking around. Oh. In any case, if I can't get past the creatures in that room, I can't recover the treasure. I need more manpower or woman power. Maybe I could help. Tell me more about this treasure. Legend says this tomb holds a treasure that bestows great power on the one who discovers it. Beyond that, not much more is known. Okay. Obviously, this treasure will fetch a good deal of gold, and I'm willing to let you share in the reward when we find it. In any case, if I can't get past the creatures in that room, I can't recover the treasure. I need more manpower. You said that. Uh, maybe I could help. Say, that's not a bad idea. You look like you could handle yourself against these asshole. beasts. I'll tell you what. You help me get the treasure, and I'll split it with you. Deal? Deal. Excellent. 
With my brains and your brawn, that treasure will soon be mine. Uh, ours. First, I need you to clear the main chamber of those monstrosities. I'll stay here until you're finished, planning our next move. 50-50 on, on her stabbing me in the back. Let's go. <laughs> well, glad to have you, Denny Shady. Always happy to have you. I'm glad you're doing well. I am doing very well. Today's work went by relatively quick. I've got quite a few meetings tomorrow for work. And uh, obviously, like, I'm, I'm getting both extremely nervous and extremely excited about the rebrand stuff so trying to make sure everything is in place for that this week but also streaming and working so i actually took off friday from work to make sure the final touches are ready for that so uh, i'm i'm doing well i am just making i think my head's all over the place the last couple of days and for the rest of the week but uh i'm doing well absolutely silent well, thank you for piping up, and I always appreciate you lurking. I know you do it quite often, so thank you for being here. Thank you for the lurks. Lurk to your heart's content. Oh, dang. Okay, you guys are actually kind of stronger, so hang on. Just... Hear the other one. Okay, not too shabby. Am I light? I do. Oh, okay. Oh, I love bubble gum, but I just when it comes to how do I get back here? Oh, it's probably, I oh, gotcha, it probably swings around. Uh, but when it comes to like bubblegum flavored things, so ice cream or cake or frosting or something like that, it just freaks me out. Uh, I don't know. Again, I think it's just a, a mental state of mine that I just can't do it. But maybe that's just me. Free Guy's a good movie though, so. Well, here's a gate. Oh, for a second, I thought that was the lady. I figured she would already be like sprinting in here, like, it's all mine. Oh, I bet you have to like go in each door, unlock one of the gates. Okay, let's go back and talk to her real fast because we're gonna need that from her, is my guess. Oh, yep, she's coming be up. Be careful. Have you killed them all yet? She is a bossy little hooker. Uh, they're all dead. Then we've no time to lose. Follow me. Don't fall behind. That's extremely early, you blackbird. You don't need to get me anything. Good lord, woman. Focus on yourself. Didn't you say you needed a TV or something? Hey, look, there's gates. And she's going to be like, oh, go around and do this. And here's the key. That's what I'm guessing. I like, have a very vague memory of this. Hmm. These doors seem to be the only thing left between me and the treasure. Yeah, she's totally stabbing us in the back. Or she's gonna try to claim the treasure for herself and it's not gonna work, so. Here, four day off, so I have delivery tonight. Very nice, what are you getting? Is there some way to open them? There'd better be. I didn't come all this oh, way to leave empty-handed. Sorry, I had to pop my neck. <laughs> there must be a way to activate these doors deeper in the ruins. Here, take this key. It should open the doors on either side of the chamber. Called it. All right, let's do it. I don't know if I've regular saved in a while. I should probably do that. Lady, if you get something right now, you are not going to remember it all the way come December. Dang it, I missed my half birthday two days ago, chat. I forgot to celebrate my half birthday. <laughs> missed it by two days. I was even streaming that day. I know I've always made the joke and I've talked to you guys about it, how I wanted people to celebrate my half birthday since December birthdays aren't the greatest. <laughs> Yeah, 
Should have celebrated my half birthday. I half celebrated it. I did too, by not even celebrating. <laughs> Yay, I am halfway to another year old. Woo! -hoo. I don't know if I really like that thought. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Oh shoot, did I not turn that on? I thought I did. I'll poop. Hang on one second. Um... Here we go. Quitting. Half P. Half birth day. <laughs> socks, 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 socks. Uh, I love getting socks from you, Nightmare Protocol. It is the truest, best gift I could ever receive. Oh, dang it. I was in a good spot for a second. I didn't even look to see if there was a thing. Nightmare, thank you for the hundred bits and the happy half birthday. So, woo! Oh, that's hilarious, Leilani. I love it. Three chicken burger and a cold schwips. 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 I actually never knew how to say that, so you guys can make fun of me. I'm okay with that. But very nice. Apple flavored. It's solid. I never notice how being short in this game is weird. You can't reach stuff on the top shelf. I was gonna say, am I even hitting him? Oh, there's Dark Taco. Don't do it. Nah. Okay, at least they're not like full eating me like the Death Lords can. Very nice. Story of my freaking life. Oh, I saw you right at the last second. I just realized it because like I normally don't play a Breton or a Wood Elf, but I just realized like when I was looking at that shelf back here, I was like, why can't I like see the like higher? Like usually I could at least see what's on that shelf, but I can't. And I know that shelf is rather big, but like we're okay, well he's in hang on. Okay, I guess Khajiits aren't that much taller. But I'm used to playing like Nords and Red Guards and I don't know if Orcs are like, I'm assuming Orcs are pretty tall because I think I've only ever played an Orc once on like, a, or like back in the day on Oblivion or something. I hear you. Get me back from that. My youngest half brother is younger than my oldest nephew. Oh, good lord! I can't even. My my brain isn't functioning, guys. We we could tell by how badly I've been like saying stuff tonight and repeating things and whatnot. So I'm not even gonna try to make sense of that in my head right now, Leilani. <laughs> oh, good lord, Asal! Like I I can't track that in my head right now. It's not working. Yeah, see, the good thing is Adam is a foot taller than me, so I can always have him get something for me if I need it. Oh, that's a double Haha. It does suck for him, though, because you don't necessarily want to be that tall in life either, because then there's a lot of drawbacks. Like, going on a flight really sucks for him, especially if it's a long flight and he doesn't have a, uh, like, a aisle or, most importantly, like, the exit row seating. There are definitely some drawbacks. I should have paid attention, but I didn't. Ha, ah, I saw that one. Can I trigger it again? I can't, damn it. Nice. <laughs> Pretty much. No, actually, uh, I I ended up buying a step ladder because it it drives me nuts not being able to do stuff or like change specific bulbs in the house or something without them. So 
Yeah, I, I went ahead and bought my bought me a nice little step ladder. Oh come on. Don't hurt my chicken. This sword is really good. This was in one of those shitty caves that I hated, but it is a really good sword, especially against Draugr. That is quite the spectrum of heights. Most of my family is tall. And at all of Adam's family is tall. Man, this is a long trek over here. Oh, heck you, yeah, I'm right into it. Just let him take care of that, that's fine. Uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna ask again, but I'm curious, how's the quality on the stream been tonight? Has it been running smoothly? Has there been any any bitrate issues at any point or anything that I should be aware of? Glorious. Glorious, Glorious and well met. Well fought. I just heard another one get up behind me. Oh yeah, I always had to do stuff like that too. Short people will find a way. Oh, what was it? There was a, <laughs> I remember. So I, this is actually, maybe I told this story. I'm pretty sure I would have told this story on stream. Do you guys remember when I tried eggnog for the first time? Did I tell you like the crazy story I went to get eggnog? Does anybody remember that? Or remember if I told that story? Cause that's a short, short person problem story. Yeah, so I will refresh memories because this was back in December. So we raised money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and one of the goals was that I would try eggnog on stream for the first time. Uh, this was, this is a week before Christmas, whenever I raised the funds, right? So I went out to try to find eggnog. By the way, don't try to find eggnog five days before Christmas because chances are you are either gonna A, not be able to find any, or B, you're not gonna be able to find any. So I legitimately searched town one night trying to find eggnog. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was trying to find this eggnog. I went to two grocery stores and to Walmart, and then I went to a third grocery store, and I finally found some. Like, I was just trying to find regular eggnog, because I'm like, if I'm gonna try eggnog for the first time, I need to try like the regular kind. Not like any of these fancy, weird, has like a bunch of different flavors in it, but, like, because I don't know what eggnog even is supposed to taste like. So I finally found some, right? There's only two cartons of it left, and it's at a Kroger and it's all the way on the top shelf in the very back. Like not even remotely reachable for me. So I, <laughs> this was about like 10 minutes before they were supposed to close too. And I'm one of those people I hate coming in right at the last minute. So like I'm looking around, there is no associates. There's nobody there to help me get this. Uh, I'm looking at a lady, she's looking at me and I'm like, Okay, um, I need this eggnog. <laughs> this is like the only place that has it. I'm determined to get this eggnog. So I go to their uh, gift wrapping section and I grab a roll of gift wrap and I get up and I stand on like, you know how like the freezers or like the refrigerators, it's kind of got a lip. So I open the door. This lady's watching me the entire time, by the way. And I open the door, I like cock the door open, I stand on the little ledge and I am like in their refrigerator 
trying to freaking get this pot of this like carton of eggnog out. And this lady's just standing there watching me the entire time. <laughs> I thought she was gonna ask me if uh, I could get her one, but she didn't. She was just watching me work. So that's how I ended up getting the carton of eggnog, which I ended up drinking on stream or trying on stream. Only one more door left. Hurry up. She's gonna go in there and get killed. But yeah. Yeah, it was me trying to, like, I was so determined because you guys had met the goal and I'm like, I need to get eggnog. So I, <laughs> I was determined to get the eggnog. But yeah, that lady just literally watched me from, like, the start of the idea in my head of, okay, I need to get this eggnog to going and getting a thing of wrapping paper, so... Basically, Pegasus. Like, man, we got, we got to get our stuff. When we need to get some stuff, we got to get some stuff. Even if I use a roll of wrapping paper. I'm sure they would have robbed Co. Because I'm just like, damn, that was close. I was finagling. Nice. Totally meant to do that on purpose. Yep, totally meant to do that. I feel like there's a couple times where I've done things in stores where I feel like if people caught me, they would probably laugh. Uh, I'm pretty sure I told this story too, but there was one time when I was closing my store at GameStop. And uh, when you were closing the store down, this was a long time, this was like back whenever I first started. Uh, when I was closing the store down, there was a gate that you had to pull down. And the gate was pulled down, but you could still th see through it relatively well. It was just a security gate, so people couldn't break the windows and get in. And uh, one night, I was just feeling my music, man. I was closing down the registers, I was counting the money and like trying to get stuff straightened up. And I don't know what it was, I don't even remember what song it was, but I just started like dancing and like really getting into this song. And uh, it took me, I was just dancing and like singing and whatever. And at one point I just like looked over towards the door and there's just these two people laughing at me. And I was, <laughs> I was so embarrassed for a minute cause like I didn't even realize it. Like I was already closed. I think they were trying to get in but then they just saw me like getting it. And they were just like standing there watching to see how long until I noticed them. So that happened. Welcome in Raiders. How are you guys doing? Hi, buttercream. Good to see you, my friend. Sorry, I was in the middle of a story and I didn't want to lose, <laughs> lose the train of thought there. But welcome in Raiders. How are you guys doing? Let's see, what were you playing? Oh, we were playing Minecraft. We were literally just talking about that. Uh, did you get a chance to see the new froggies and stuff today? It is like milk, but denser. It is like very thick. It's almost like a melted milkshake, except cold. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Who made that noise? Adam seemed to like it okay, but apparently a lot of people like it with like specific flavors, but I didn't want to try a flavored one because I didn't know what eggnog was supposed to take, taste like, so. But welcome in everyone, my name is CD. Thank you so much for the raid, Buttercream. We are playing some modded Skyrim. This is the first time I have ever modded Skyrim and um, it has been great so far. I haven't played the game all the way through in several years. So this is also a lot of fun to me just going back and playing some Skyrim. Oh, wait, didn't it just say it was exhausted? Uh oh, did it just, I said it was great and now the game is like, I'm pretty sure I had saved recently. Okay, it wasn't that far back. I'm playing a mod pack, but it brings the game back to version 1.12. Uh, what mod pack were you playing, if you don't mind me asking? I haven't modded um, Minecraft before, but I was looking at the extended Minecraft stuff at one point. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Oh, it's literally just called the 1.12.2 pack. Is 
is it just literally taking you back to that or is there like modded content in it? I guess I just don't understand. Something about 300 plus mods? Holy shit. That's a lot of mods in Minecraft. I mean, I have 271 mods in this game, but you know. But you know. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is where our thing screwed up. Gotcha, I didn't know if you were running like a specific pack or extended Minecraft or whatever else there was. Because I know there's some very specific mod packs out there. Yoink! Haha, uh -huh. thought you got me, but you didn't! Let's go. Yeah, for the crowd control, I actually have to have it rolled back to a specific build. I don't even know which build it is. It does it automatically. Okay, I'm gonna quick save before doing this this time, just in case it tries to do that to me again, but... I think it just broke because I was messing other stuff up. Or, uh, there was another dude there. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, it was probably because the other dude aggroed. Oh man, another birthday? Well, wait a second. You're saying today is your birthday, and you're meaning that you're going to mod later today. Or mod. <laughs> you're going to hop on later today, meaning that your birthday falls on the 8th. We had somebody raid us earlier that uh, just celebrated their birthday as well, but it was on the 7th, so... Happy birthday, Buttercream. Happy early birthday. Can I get some happy birthdays in chat for Buttercream? And talk about another birthday gift you could give them. You could go follow their channel because they're really awesome people. I met them through Sheep's Community as well because we were talking about Rube earlier. And actually, Buttercream was playing uh, Valheim with Rube as well, which was really fun to watch. So go check out Buttercream Cake and uh, wish them well on their happy birthday. Well, thank you for taking a moment and stopping in here and hanging out with us. If you need to go get you some rest, though, Buttercream, I know it's it's late, and like you said, you probably want to hop on later, so uh, you should go get you some rest if you so choose. Let me do that right there. I keep messing with the inner part of my mouth, because I either, like, burned or bit the inside of the left part of my mouth. It's driving me nuts. Driving me newts. Effective against the undead. But I thought they were resistant to ice. That's why I'm using the fire one. Oh, I'm an idiot. I did it again. I did it again. I started picking up the wrong stuff. Instead of storing things. Because I am a dingus. I don't know where I picked up the word dingus from. I mean, obviously it's a word that's been around for a really long time, but... I don't know if I heard it somewhere, but man, I really like using the word dingus. Pretty much as much as the word hooker now. Well, I appreciate it, Buttercream. Well, if you need to duck out at any point and uh, feel tired, like, you just, you go right on ahead. But feel free to hang out as little or as long as you like. I never like saying it because it almost makes it sound like I'm trying to kick people out. But in reality, I just know how it is after streams. And sometimes you're just, you're done. <laughs> Decorative blocks that light up? Really, SL? Can't believe I'm excited to play with the frogs in mud in Minecraft. I'm so easily entertained. There's plenty of people that are excited to do that. You are not alone, SL. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that looks fun. Okay. I should have stored the greater one in here too. 
Hang on. Crater. I should probably start charging soul gems soon. Mostly I've been able to find enough to keep me going that I haven't really needed it. If you wait long enough, you Blackbird, they might have a bundle for it or something. I'm a MILF. Man, I love frogs. <laughs> Apparently Skulk are a game changer. What are Skulk? A cell. I watched a trailer and somebody mentioned that there was like a new mob or something in the game, but like a new uh, hostile mob, but I watched a trailer and it didn't have anything like that in it. So I probably just didn't watch the right one. Twilight Forest. Really pretty place with some bosses and quest lines and stuff. That sounds awesome, Buttercream. That's what I would like to see. And that's one of the reasons why I was looking at potentially checking out a Minecraft mod in the future. I don't know if I'll do it on stream or if I'll just do it off stream, but the uh, the extended Minecraft one, unofficial Minecraft 2.0 had some really cool stuff with it. And added like quest lines and unique places and unique bosses and enemies and stuff. Everybody loves Lechonk. <laughs> Are you knowledge rhino three new mobs? Apparently with Skulk you can make motion sensors for when people walk or jump by, so have lights turn on as you walk guy close. That's interesting. Yeah, I've never obviously because I've mentioned that Skyrim and Project Zomboid are the first and only games that I've ever modded, and Project Zomboid was just literally adding Steam Workshop things. I've never looked into modding before, but the, the Minecraft modding stuff that I saw the other day looked really unique and cool, so. I just really, you know what, I'm gonna punch you. That works too. <laughs> I just forgot to bring out my sword. Oh, I can imagine Buttercream, if they change so much, it's like learning the whole game over again. You don't love Lechonk? Lechonk is cute. An alley? Which you can send out to collect items for you? That sounds cool. <laughs> Robco! <laughs> There's some piggy... Piggy bacon. That's funny. Funny and terrible at the same time. He dropped down. I was wondering how the heck he hit me from there. It's all good. Tinker mod also pretty great to make so a bunch of stuff. See, I'm just not creative in Minecraft. I've mentioned this a lot, is that like I'm not creative when it comes to anything. Literally anything. I am an organized person, I'm not a creative person. So, like, I love organizing things and doing stuff along those lines. And uh, so the thing that appeals to me more in Minecraft is when they ended, uh, like, when they added the Ender Dragon and when they added the Wither. So, like, I love the exploration aspect of it, but I never really dealt with a lot of, like, building and things because I just always make boxes or rectangles or whatever. Even whenever I would play on, like... Uh, KJ's server that he had. I, I would just be like, ah, do you guys need me to collect some stuff? Because um, that's about all I'm good for. Because all this, this, oh, this little box over here is mine. So. Rough to the touch, an itchy stained blanket discarded long ago by some disgruntled Nord. Okay. But yeah, so I just kind of like exploring and then digging stuff out. Anything that I've ever made that's cool in Minecraft, it wasn't my own idea. 
that's cool knowledge rhino i just I, even if i started some like project like that i do not have the creative sense to to add oh, start taco. i'm just not creative enough to come up with anything let's I didn't do anything to you. It's not my fault if you ran into the fire, Dark Taco. Nice. This side was a lot easier than the other side. See, that's actually one of the reasons why Valheim scares me more, Buttercream, is because, like, I... I wouldn't be able to create anything. And there's a lot more finickiness to some of the build designs, so Valheim kind of scares me. Because I've watched Llama play a lot of it. Oh, here, let me, F5, because she's probably going to take off and run in there and stuff and be like, the treasure's mine! <laughs> That's my guess, anyway. Creating a town, making it neat, and then blowing it up? Well, damn, Rhino, you are... Say it is. I had to think for a second. At last, the treasure is mine. Ah, called All it. Mine. Oof. Oh, she's not dead. Well, you're not worthy, apparently. Get wrecked. I was going to loot your corpse, but apparently you are not worthy. Yeah, that was unfortunate for her. She fell down. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, then. Hi, Kid Icarus. How are you doing? Welcome in. Good evening to you. It's more about making and about all different longhouses. Yeah, they just, I, I don't know if I can do it. And I'm not one of those people that like just going off of straight tutorials. Person. Like I have done it in our Minecraft world and stuff, but do I find it a lot of fun? Really? So, I'll prank you, not even a little, a lot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's a good one, Robco. I think she was supposed to die there. I thought she was supposed to too, Kyuhu, but she she did the whole thing where she uh where she uh seems like a NPC cuz she didn't actually die. I mean, she's NPC, duh, but, um, not kill, non-killable NPC. But I thought she did too, Kyuhu. Again, that's my five to six year old memory trying to remember, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was supposed to die too. Save! <gasps> yeah, I don't know. She dead now. <laughs> she is uh, dead now. Was that a miscellaneous one? I don't even remember. Oh well, what is the forbidden legend? Where does this go? Because I picked up that thing. Oh, I guess it doesn't mean. Well, I didn't want her to suffer, Kyuhu. She was she wasn't getting up, you know. We were just we we're just taking taking her out, all right? That's, uh, that's all. Uh, okay, let me see here real quick. Uh 
don't know why we got the wind sound effect all of a sudden, but what was I doing? Journal. Turn this off. That's what I wanted to do. And then this. And we're just going to keep going along here and just see what else we can find. All right. Onward to greatness. We got some more words of power. Haven't even unlocked any of them yet. I don't know why we got the wind sound effect going there, but I don't know. See who can get the best distance oh, of like doing a power rail? You know, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever thought of doing that a cell. But that would be fun as hell. I suggest we do that. If not in this build that we've got now, then maybe in a different one. Because I gave you all my power rail stuff. I think I have a little bit more. But that sounds like fun. We can build two of them, or three of them, have races, get launched. I don't know how that would work. Would it just fall to the ground though, or does it actually get launched? Like I've never once thought about trying that. Now I'm really curious. Okay. Abinchinel something. Okay. That is not the button I meant to push. Oh, it's rainy and we're out in the open world. Oh, what? Time to go fight a dragon. We'll do a regular save since I haven't done one. Oh, it would have been so sick if I hit that. It would have been so sick. Where are you at, dragon? I want to fight you. I need your soul. I need your soul. Crap, I don't know where I went. Oh. But there's more stuff that's trying to kill. Wow, I've missed twice. This is why I don't use bow and arrow in this playthrough. But where'd the dragon go? I wanted to fight the dragon. The fuck? What? Anybody else see what happened there? Son of a yeah, kid Icarus, I have Joel, oh, hello. I have no idea what just happened. I was half expecting to look up and see a, a dragon, like drop it or something. What is going on? Spiders, bears, and dragons, oh my. And bandits. Goodness gracious, I don't know what was going on there. The dude just literally fell right in front of me. He wasn't anywhere near me, originally. So I am a little confuzzled. Ow. Oh, you smart bastards. I'm back in Elden Ring. When did we step into East Lemgrave? Uh, I'm upset. I wanted to fight the dragon. I needed its soul. I just wanted the souls. No, not a dragon corpse. A do like a random, a bandit corpse fell right in front of me, and I like, I think Dark Taco was fighting, 
But he wouldn't be able to launch a person in the air, like, what just happened. Maybe if he was using, like, a hammer or something, I would have believed it. But yeah, Dark, uh, Dark Taco was fighting over here. I was over... I was all the way over here. I was, like, right here. I was looking for the dragon. I was fighting somebody else. And then the bandit chief just, like, lands out of air over here. Ooh, I always like that set. So I have no idea why that happened or where he came from or whatever. Okay. Well, since the dragon went away, I guess I'm going to go back up here real quick. Maybe the bandit's name was Dragon. <laughs> Touche. Stay away from the summoner. Stay away from the summoner. Stay away from the dragon. Wait, what? There's no door down here. Something tells me I'm not supposed to go here this way. Maybe. Kind of looks like a ledge. Stay away from the swimmer. Excuse you, I am not a bad man. Okay, Dark Taco. Well, that was really weird. It would have me come all the way up here. Hmm. Save. See what we got. I haven't been into a dorm ruin yet because that other one we found earlier you couldn't go into yet. What? Are you joking me? Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. I was a wedding for- well, I mean, I guess what from the raid too, but... I still haven't gotten to go in a Dwemer ruin! This is bullshit! Oh, hello raiders! How are you guys doing? Welcome in, Mr. Zero Gravity Theater. The man, the myth, the legend, the amazing friend. Raven, how was your stream, good sir? I was so excited because I was like, oh yay, we finally get to go into a Dwemer ruin. Just freaking joking. <sighs> Sometimes this one misses his old life in Broome. Good for you, Dark Taco. Ken Theogasa, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Dodo Experto. I like your name. It rhymes very well. Welcome in. S Blackheart, welcome in to you as well. Happy Haunt, good to see you again. Kinky Dreads, welcome in. R Blaine. Raid, space popcorn, or something. I'll take all of the above. I'll take all of the above categories. So, but welcome in Raiders. My name is CD. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a variety content creator here in Arkansas in the US. I typically focus on first blind playthroughs of story-based games. Oh, at least there's a chest. <gasps> Look how cool the lock is. That's the first time we've seen that. Sorry, I, I get nerdy about the dumbest things, like a lock looking different, but anyway welcome in this is my first time ever modding skyrim i haven't played skyrim all the way through in about five to six years i'm sorry for everybody who kept hearing me repeat this tonight but this is my first time ever modding skyrim so there's over 271 mods mostly focused on uh graphical updates ui updates adding companions or npcs adding quest lines adding locations uh, i kept the integrity of the gameplay the same as skyrim but i basically updated and upgraded almost everything else so but welcome in happy to have you guys feel free to hang out feel free to ask questions since i'm very new to modding i won't be able to help with any modding questions but if you have questions about what i have installed or anything i can let you know Star Fox rain it's good to see you welcome in yes this is a modded one our blaine so i just hadn't seen this one yet so this this was the locks one we had seen one that was a frozen lock that was pretty cool but that was it so 
But yes, welcome in. Guys, if you don't know Zero Gravity Theater, Mr. Rabin, you need to go check this gentleman out. I talk about him as much as I possibly can without chat getting mad at me because he is awesome. And he's playing some Fallout 4, which I am going to be doing my first playthrough of Fallout 4 after we, con uh, we complete Skyrim's modded playthrough. So just a heads up, if you want to watch somebody new play Fallout 4, I will be doing that in a couple of months from now. But welcome in, everyone. You're most welcome, Dodo Experto. I just liked it because it rhymed and it rolled off the tongue really well. Delete two mods, pu mods please, for some reasons. No! I wouldn't do that to Robco and Silverleaf. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome in, new follower. Um, all my follows are anonymous, so that way if you guys just want to hang out and don't feel pressured into talking, you can do so. Uh, I will thank you personally if you've already spoken in chat. That way you can just chill in the background if you'd like to follow and not feel obligated to talk. Welcome back, Llama. Don't delete me, please. I won't. I so want to play Skyrim again. You should, Dodo Experto. It's been many years. Um, I did do a challenge run of the main quest line back in October, and that's what actually got me to really want to play it again. Because I played just a little bit and I was hooked. So I decided to mod it to Oblivion and back. And in a weird roundabout way, I did technically mod it to Oblivion. The uh, first mod that we played in the game was actually Beyond Skyrim Bruma, which was a very, very, very cool mod that took you into Cyrodiil in the city of Bruma. So I uh, would recommend playing Skyrim again. It's a lot of fun to play. So. Interesting uh, knowledge right now. Interesting. Mama's back. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. That is so cute. Is that a new emote, Llama? I don't remember that one. It's like my glasses. Mr. Raven, if you need to go get some food or anything, take care of yourself first and foremost, sir. Everybody else, feel free to relax if you would like. If this is not your type of content, I completely understand, but... We'd love to have you guys around if you want to hang out for a bit. I can't see oh, shit. You have no business here oh, outside sorry. I, I would like to talk to you. Over, no. This may be the one of the We need nothing from outsiders. Your Mars will provide for us. We cannot carry on this way. You know we are doomed if we do not do something. Your Mars charged you with keeping outsiders away from Largus Would you have me disobey him? You were charged with keeping us inside the walls. Have faith in me. I only wish the best for our tribe. Fine. It's your neck. Forgive Ugar's harsh words. Mm -hmm. She's merely doing as she's been told. Huh? Did you just tell Zero Gravity No. To refuse to let anyone else leave. No, nobody else is allowed to leave, ever. Maybe I did one or two of those things. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hi, River Glory. How are you doing? Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. Mine started crashing since I've modded and can't play longer than 30 minutes. Oh, no. Sounds like you need to, need to go back through and uh, do some, some demodding, Dodo Experto. Maybe a little bit of cleanup might... Uh, might have it running in no time. It's probably just some confliction between some mods. Oh, okay, Llama. I guess I just hadn't seen it, or I just didn't think about it, or something. But I like that one. I would never tell people to leave a cell. Never. All right, what's going on here? Please. Our tribe suffers, and we need help. Okay. Our chief Yamars was once a strong and proud warrior. Now he is stricken, cursed. That's unfortunate. He is weak, and so our tribe is weak. The giants sense this and intrude on our territory. Now they assault our very home. That's Your unfortunate. Mars refuses help, but I sense that you may be just what we need. What can I do? Your Mars has demanded we stay inside the walls. We cannot leave. I must petition Malakath for relief. This curse must be lifted. But I cannot travel to Malakath's shrine. The ritual must be done here. And I do not have the materials I need. I beg of you, can you bring me troll fat and a daedra heart? I can. I have no wish to depend on a stranger. 
but I have no choice. Troll fat in a danger heart. Who is Malakath? You do not know of Malakath? Yeah, I do. He is but... the keeper of oaths, the master of curses. He is quick to anger and slow to forgive. One who wrongs Malakath is one who will endure great torment in return. He demands loyalty and strength from his orcs. We have tried to please him, but he is now angry with us. And so we suffer. Okay, where do I find a Daedra heart? In a Daedra, of course. Wow, smartass. Okay. Please hold me. We are counting on you. I don't know. You didn't seem like you needed me that bad. I don't know. Oh, friggin' lady. Well, luckily, I actually am pretty sure I have those things already. So, troll fat and uh, danger cart. Let's go back in here. That thug life. I can't really see very well. I said I would use these glasses for any time I would have a hype train, but it's actually really hard to see out of because those white specks are not see through. So, it's just painted on. So, it's almost like a fun thing in itself. I'm glad you're doing well, River Glory. Just to finish dinner, chicken and rice. Very nice. I'm a huge fan of like chicken, cheese, rice dishes. I am 100% on board with stuff like that. But that sounds wonderful. That one. What is the soul blade? Silver is 29 and 30. Okay, no, we're not going to take that. I'm gonna drop some stoofs off real quick. May as well. Uh, I don't really care about that. <coughs> Holy crap, pardon me. Wow. That was a violent one. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need... Ooh, I do like this armor set though, I want to keep that. Thank you for the bless use. <laughs> I was going to try to mute, but then I realized my thing wasn't on the... Uh, the mute tab in time. Always try to get away from the mic as much as possible. Sometimes it doesn't always happen, so. I know, right, Robco? Seriously. There we go. Okay, let's see. Wait, why did I go in here? Oh, because I need to put this. Okay, we need a danger cart and troll fat. So first of all, let me get rid of the couple things that I have. And then we're going to... Oh, are you kidding me? I don't... Wait, no, I spelled it backwards. Haha! Fine. I need one of those. And... I need one of these. Look at that! Boom! Nailed it. I'm also going to fast forward time because I can't see jack shit right now. So. Stay right here and wait for you to bring here are the what things I you need. asked. Excellent. Now, you must come with me. You become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. She doesn't look too great. Close the door behind you. Hey, friend. See you around. Oh, gosh dang it, the chicken's gonna open it now, isn't it? God damn it. I was just trying to be nice and close the door. Freaking chicken. We do love our chicken. It is time, you Mars. You bring an outsider here, and now insist I call on Malakath for help when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over with. Um, 
dark taco, I think you're in the way. Yeah, dark taco is definitely in the way. What's in this chest? Dang, that's a pretty good bow. A black pearl? You know, I usually don't take stuff from, uh, from people here, but, um, I got some good loot in here. He is very proud of that fish on the wall. We haven't gotten to check out fishing yet. I'll let them keep their gold. Don't you tell no one, chicken. Don't you do it. This boat looks really good, though. Hello, Zyramonti. How are you doing? Now, oh my gosh, the rain is so loud. We beseech you. Our tribe has survived this long without you. And why are we bothering you? You pathetic weakling! Yeah, get wrecked. What's that? Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? Mm. What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. Damn! You're weak, you're small, and you're an embarrassment. Get wrecked. You let giants, giants, overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken to yours. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. Right, River Glory? This is all your fault, you know. I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. As if so it's you're hard. Going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Fighting the giant isn't my job. Thanks to you, I've just been issued a challenge in front of my whole tribe by a Daedric prince, no less. I can't ignore that. Well, no shit. I didn't say I wouldn't fight the giant. I just said you're going to help me get to it. Meet me outside Fallowstone Cave. You clear the way to the giant for me, and I'll make sure you get paid for it. I don't believe you. Deuces. Our tribe has survived this long without you interfering. We'll be fine. You want to say that again, Bish? Did you not just hear the Daedric Prince call your ass out? We have angered Malakath. So we must be punished. Yeah, you definitely angered Daedric friends, which is not a good idea. Okay, well, where's this quest at? Because we might go ahead and do it if it's, like, not crazy far. Oh, it's literally right there. Well, yep, I think that's our next quest, guys. <laughs> I think that is our next quest. Please, help your Mars. Do whatever you can. Our tribe depends on you. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients. Right. Thanks to you, I got called out. It's like, bitch, you would have gotten called out either way, so. You would have been called out either way. You must help us appease Oh, wait a Malachi. second. Can I sell you ah, some of my potions? I don't so need. So you're an alchemist then? I am indeed. Or at least somewhat of an alchemist. Not really. I haven't done that much with it. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, new follower. I appreciate having you here. And hope everybody else is having a wonderful evening or morning out. or afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Love. 
We have sworn loyalty to your mind. We won't kill you, Outlander. But we don't want you here. You guys are all kind of assholes, you know? Like, I know you got your, uh, your stuff, but, um... Y'all need my help. I didn't see these orc bodies at night last time. Is there a giant body around here somewhere too? Nope. Yeah, I didn't see those orc bodies last time. Alright, we're gonna go over here. There's some more question marks. Those are north? Wait. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Mandrake. Oh, Savage! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, Savage. Didn't know you were streamed. Thank you very much for choosing us to raid this fine evening. What is U-Boat? I mean, I know what a U-Boat is, but I actually do not know the game U-Boat. Well, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety streamer, and we are playing some modded Skyrim for my first time. I have played oh, an assassin, excuse me? Oh, I'm doing my worst just sucks for you that my worst is also my best. <laughs> Sell. <laughs> but yes, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Tell me a little bit about U-Boat. Oops, sorry. If you uh, have a moment. And yep, welcome in, guys. Like I said, my name is CD, variety streamer, and playing this lovely modded Skyrim playthrough for the first time. I have played Skyrim before, just not the modded portion of it. But let me know if you guys have any questions. We play a lot of different stuff around here. We're going to be playing Resident Evil 1 here in the very near future. I've never played that. We're going to be playing I Am Bread. I'm probably going to hate myself for that. And then we're also going to be playing Fallout 4 after we finish Skyrim. No diamond for you. All right, let's see what we got here. As instructed, you are to eliminate Samasaran by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Astrid. I wish you could find out who it was that wanted you dead. Because at least at this point in the game, I don't know who would have wanted us dead. I don't think we pissed off anyone enough to mark us for death. But it would be cool if you could find out, like, who actually ordered your death. And then I would go find them. That sounds terrible. Raiding party! When I read that, it makes me think of Age of Empires raiding party thing. Samus gets all the best pet pets. Wait. Oh! Wait a second. Is he running? Oh! Never mind. I don't want to follow him then. I want to explore stuff more then. Okay, just kidding. Sorry, dude. I will catch you on the flip side because... Apparently he's running. I thought it was just like a cave over here and I was like, we've gone way too far already. So, curse tribe. <laughs> meet me at the thing. He didn't say when to meet him at the thing. He just said to meet him there. Ooh, you got some ice cream? We were talking about ice cream earlier, Denny Shady. I don't know if you were in here, but I uh, do you like me some ice cream. Some weird tusks. Is this going to be... I'm going to guess this is going to be people conjurers, but I could be very wrong. Where am I at on the map? Oh man, i got to go all the way back to Crow's Tooth Camp. For some reason, that's on our... I think we have a, a quest there, a miscellaneous quest there to just like wipe it out or something. I think there's like bandits or something there. All right, let's see what we got in this dark tower. Ooh, hang on a second. I just thought of something I wanna check real quick.
Ring. Thank you so much for the follow. Hello there, General Kenobi. How are you doing, Wraith? Welcome in to our lovely abode. How might you be doing today? Thank you for that follow. Is someone there? Uh, only I. Oh, just wait. Oh. By the gods. I know this looks bad. Let me explain. You killed that woman. I didn't want to, but she attacked to try and keep me from leaving. Um, it kind of looked like I she might- I can't be a part of this place anymore. The things we do here, evil, evil things. No more! Why did she need to die? We were supposed to find a sacrifice. Human sacrifice. I told her I couldn't do it, and she attacked. I've done horrible things living here, but never taken an innocent life. I couldn't just find some person for them to kill. Why did you need a sacrifice? The initiation. My mother is going to become one of those things. I can't be a part of that. Gods, I can't run away from this. I have to stop her. I'm going up there to stop her. This cycle must end. I don't know what brought you here, but I could use your help if you're willing. Sure, I'll help you. Good. Follow me. We have to fight our way up. I don't think anyone else here is about to have a change of heart. Oh wait, do I have to actually follow you or can you follow me? Because, like, I kind of want to loot stuff as we go. Um, ma'am? Nope, she's going on her own. Okay, fair enough. I just wanted to see if there was any loot. Okay, she's waiting. Good. Damn it. <laughs> Never heard of that electric man. But I'll take your word for it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna steal all their car carrots and cabbages. All their currants. Try not to set anything on fire, all right? Excuse you, madam. Are you sure about this? Let's get up there before Mother finds out what we're doing. Um, okay. Whatever you say. I don't think I want to meet Mother. Preferably. I don't think I want to meet Mother. Now I've got the song Mother stuck in my head. Dang it. I was gonna say, Dark Taco's just gonna go to town though. Cause she had a shield on her, so I would've had to switch to actual physical anyway. Excuse you, madam. <laughs> I also apologize to people whenever I'm like looting their dead bodies, which is just as silly as can be. Like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna take this stuff off your dead corpse. Don't mind me at all. Oh, Lord have mercy. Excuse me, sir. That's my aqua fur. What are you pouring in the ground? Are Here you we go. Sketchy? Oh, you ass. I don't know what that is, but it sounds terrifying. Fuck. Oh, it's a troll. I don't think it really sounded like a troll for a minute. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely, Savage. Thank you again for the raid. I uh, look forward to chatting you with you in the future about what that game was all about. But have a wonderful night. Thank you for swinging, swinging by and bringing your people by. And you have a great one. We'll see you later. Okay, okay yeah, she wants to go that way. But there's a gate right here that I am curious about. I need all the loot. I'd be remiss if I left any loot. Uh, there's a lever. Do you really think I'm gonna run into that? 
Damn right I am. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, probably didn't get a single one of you, but it's, it's still worth trying. Would have been even funnier if I'd accidentally set it off whenever I turned around, because I almost did. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Lead the way, Ilya. Oh, wow, that looks so bright. Because I got that light on. Here we go. Okay, there's... You want in there? Here's my spare key. Take whatever you want. That's kind of cool. Um, thanks. Turning my light on again. That's interesting. You want in there? Here, take my spare key. Take whatever you like. I will take all of the potions, I guess. Interesting. What are you dot dot dotting about? She's good peoples, obviously. Wait, what do you mean now she seems fishy? I think that, if anything else, proved that she's a good person. Because when we came in, we watched her killing somebody. Now, granted, when we looked over the person's name, their name was Witch. So, you know, if you just switch one letter, yeah. But. <laughs> but she just gave us the key. She's like, oh, yeah, you can totally take whatever's in there. You can tell she's done with this life. She don't give a shit. Like, let's go fuck some people up. So, if anyway, anything. She just so happens to have a key that allows a random lady with a looting problem. I think she's trying to get on your good side. That is also possible. Graven up ahead. Pull the lever when you're ready and we'll take her. Where's the high grade? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, I am so sorry. Okay, good. She doesn't think I'm an enemy. I was a little worried there. Let's see if you guys would stop getting in front of my freaking. Oh, God. Da Tarto! God damn it. I think it's because I accidentally attacked her. That's what I was kind of worried about. Pull the lever! Well, it wasn't the wrong lever. I was just confused at like where we were supposed to go next. Okay, fine. I'm just not gonna use my magic because Dark Taco and her are like running in front of me. So let's just do this instead. Charge! God damn it. Them boys. That's fine. Hagrid is done. There. Dark Taco must have been thinking about what you were thinking, as, um, Silverleaf. Yeah, Dark Taco just like straight went for her, and I'm like, no! Like, I accidentally hit her, and luckily she didn't turn bad on me. <laughs> not a top of that. Burn the witch. Wait, I hope you're not talking about the other girl because she's she's kind of nice. Who's this one? Intimidate and persuasion attempts are more likely to succeed. Let's go ahead and do that. Hello, Witch Queen Nicolette. How are you doing? Very good to see ya. Oh, shit. I was getting pushed what forward. I don't know. Over here. What was that? Quick save! Like good lord! Maybe Dark Taco did launch that bandit chief at one point. Well, they found a sacrifice. This 
Does that mean your mum became one of those things? Locks. Damn. One of the hags nearby will have the key. You'll have to take it from here. I'll keep watch here. Unless you can pick the lock. I can pick the lock, but we'll go ahead and go get a key. Hi, Rogbeer. How are you doing? I'm kind of a late bloomer and had my first experience of gassing up my scooter by myself. It's a good thing. It's very efficient on gas because oof, my wallet. Oh, yeah. No, it's so expensive. Gas is just absolutely horrible right now. Nothing wrong with being a late bloomer. What's going on here? What was that? Hello. There's one hag. Oh, damn. Wow. Dark Taco just destroyed that thing. Okay, now that I killed stuff, I actually don't even need the key. I'll just go do the lockpick. <laughs> yeah, I came in here because I was like, maybe there's good treasure and stuff. But I did actually want to lockpick that because... Wait, what? That was weird. Oh, good lord, this is a master lock, too. Oh yeah, because in Oregon you still don't pop, pump your gas, right? Yeah, my parents were making me get out and pump the gas like 14, 15. They're like, you pump the gas. But yeah, I forgot that and a couple other places that do that as well. Oh, damn, she landed on the spikes and everything. Why doesn't anybody have any Jazz Bay grapes? Alright, we need some grapes up in here. Locked. Damn! One of the heck? Yeah, they did, but I'm gonna pick it because I want the... I want the XP for it. I have so many lockpicks. 100 miles a gallon, that's crazy. Yeah, I've always heard that scooters have really good gas mileage. Okay, I didn't think so. That was one of the hardest things for me to do. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really hard for me to do. You'll have to take it from here. Right, on automaton, here. that's just one of the designated Unless jobs for kids, right? Lock. Did your parents make you write down the mileage, how much gas you got, and how much in a tiny notepad? No, that was, I did not have that. Have My parents definitely made me do the whole checkbook thing and like really make sure to manage. Oh, damn. Uh, really make sure to like watch my checkbook whenever I first got a, uh, a checking account where I only had checks that I could write. I don't even remember why. I could even like write checks. I think they just wanted me to know how to do it. So like we opened a checking account when I was like 15 with a like co-signer of like my dad or Marilyn or something. But no, did not do the mileage thing in few days. At least so, not for me, but maybe somebody else in here had that same experience. I did learn to drive in snow very quickly though because since my birthday is in December, you kind of have to learn pretty quickly. Got any grapes? So a duck walked up to a lemon. I did it wrong. So a duck walked up to a lemonade stand and said to the man running the stand, Hey, got any grapes? It's been a while since I've watched that video. I'm going to have to watch it tonight. <laughs> it's all Pegasus' fault. Yeah, no, we had a we had a class. We had a personal finance class in high school. All right. Mother is just And uh, we had to learn like do I checks then, but I already knew how to by that time. <laughs> he said it's bad enough your mom won't drive in the snow. Nobody else in this house will be uh, be driving in the snow if I have anything to do with it. Oh my gosh, PJs. <laughs> All right, what's the plan? I'll present you as the sacrifice. Just play along. While mother begins the ritual, I'll strike. Then together we can... We can kill her. 
kill her? I've thought this through, and it's the only way. She's too far gone, too corrupted by the hags. At least in death, she can be free again. Enough. Let's go. Okay. I will go along with this. Oh, good lord, Leilani. That's a long time. All right, let's get this girl. Oh wait, I should probably put my weapon away so I look more like a sacrifice. There we go. Boom. Greetings, mother. Daughter, who is this you have brought me? I have found a willing subject for you. Payment has already been discussed, of course. Splendid. Please take a seat on the chair behind me, would you? Mm, I guess so. Yeah, we just blend in. I look like a definitely willing sacrifice. I'll just prepare the subject now. This one wanders to himself sometimes. I can't let you do Where this, will his story You end? have to die now. Where will he be when age uh -huh. consumes him? Damn. You could have just stabbed her. That probably would have been better. Well, we did it. Wait, are you serious? No! Dark Taco! No! Are you fucking joking me? Gosh dang it, Dark Taco. I know, why did you have to announce it? We easily killed him, or her, and then fucking Dark Taco. You know what? You, you, you wait here. I don't care if she accidentally hits me. I accidentally hit you all the time. You tell Dartakto to wait. Good. Dartakto wait waits. here. I swear if he comes running over and screws this up again, I swear. Ugh. Yeah, the lady in the glass armor who has like a shit ton of weapons, right? Ugh. I know. Why did she have to announce? She's like, oh, I can't let you get away with this. I'll kill you, mother. Greetings, mother. Daughter. Lady. Who is this you have brought Don't you me? fucking move, Dark Taco. I found a willing subject for you. I am a willing subject. Payment has already been discussed, of course. Splendid. Please take a seat on the chair behind me, would you? You're so kind about about killing me. I'll just prepare the subject now. What's up, Cappuccino boy? How are you doing? Come here, chicken. Come kick her ass. I can't ass. let you do this, mother. You have to die now. Yeah, you got me so Good. Now stay right there because if you walk in that fire, then you're gonna think that lady hit you. Stay. Good. 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 <laughs> it is times like these that one follow me. I'm not going to make that mistake it. again either. Don't be sorry for me. Oh. I just if I would have known it would come to this. Mother. Keep mother's staff. Think of it as payment. I want to leave everything from this cursed place behind. Goodbye. Oh, she has a staff. Good afternoon. You could come with me. I suppose it would be better than sitting around thinking about all this. I could also do some good for a change. Sure, I'd go with you. Should have gone all out, but I'm feeling charitable. Looks like you've already got someone. Ah, dang it. She seems sweet. But we do have dark taco. A blood extractor? Guess I'll take that. I'm glad I wasn't getting my blood extracted. I guess I could always come back her here back come back her and get get her. Holy shit. Come back here and get her if uh 
if it doesn't work out with Dark Taco. Look at this staff, dude. Sprayed on the ground, it creates a wall of fire. That was a pretty dope looking staff. Hang on, I'm gonna use that real quick. I don't trust her, I like her. Holy crap, dude. It's a little short little staff, but it's cool. It's just somebody's freaking spine and a head. A skull, that's sick. That is really cool. Hmm. There we go. I am off to bed. Have a wonderful rest of your stream, CD, and bye, chats. Goodbye, Mr. Watery Bread. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Get you some good sleep, sir. Appreciate you hanging out as much as you did. I know, right, Electric Band? I'm telling you, I've, I've been saying that. There's constantly stuff that they like just trust you with. Never should have come here. Oh, should I never have come here? I kick you ass. Oh, this is the camp. Oh, good God, what the hell? Oh, Forsworn. Why are the Forsworn here? Why is there force one all the way over here? That's weird. Hmm. It does seem kind of like a small skull. Looks like almost like a person's person's uh, spine, but then I thought we needed to go there for some reason. Oh well. But then like something smaller is cool. I agree. Oh, there's a troll here. Hello, Mr. Troll. Gosh dang it, I keep thinking I'm going to move forward with that attack and it doesn't do it. So I've missed that attack like three or four times because I think it's going to lunge forward and it doesn't because I don't have movement when I'm holding the staff. Not a whole lot going on up here. Is there anything cool here or is it just literally just this? Yeah, it's just this. Okay. What else we can get into? I'm really surprised though because that was marked on our map, so I thought there was something specific about it, but I guess not. I love being able to jump while sprinting. Probably one of the best mods we added, and it was something so small. Okay, well, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? I think I can go around. And for once, I don't think I can scale that mountain. <laughs> Sure, that's got to be modded content. I don't know what that is.
Oh wait, I never got the question mark that was over here. I thought I did. I thought getting this was the question mark here. Hang on. What do we got up in here? I have no idea how you're supposed to get to that though. I feel like there's probably something that connects to that somehow. Yoink. I think Silverleaf is adorable. Oh. Here we go. Alright, let's see what this is. Maybe it'll lead me up to that place. Where's Dark Taco? Or the chicken? You're welcome, Silverleaf. I got your back. Okay, I don't know what happened to Dark Taco and Chicken Taco, but uh, they ain't here. <laughs> Cell, that's hilarious. <laughs> I went to 27 Ikeas, the 27 different of my community members. <laughs> Why did I pick that up? We did not mean to. A cell, or no. Silverleaf had never been to an Ikea before. It was fun. We spent like an hour and a half burning off our food that we ate. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I think he scared them off. Why? It's not like, even though I call him a taco knowledge rhino, it's not like I'm gonna eat them. That's a troll. Oh wait, I can use better weapons. They're not here right now. I can't use the fireball staff whenever good old Dark Taco is nearby. Because then he gets the freaking splash damage from it. Oh no, Knowledge Rhino. Uh, I guess what you missed is that when I was in Arizona back in March, I actually met Silverleaf. And then we went to In-N-Out Burger and we went and shopped at Ikea. That sounds like a weird but totally you day. Absolutely. Oh, you need a key. Son of a bitch. It's absolutely a totally me day. The person you see on stream is very much the same person you would see in real life. Wash up a bit. We're we're a little dirty. <laughs> right, Electric Man. They had so many cool things. Mostly, at, like obviously, when I say shopping, it was just like walking around. Because if you've never been to an IKEA, it's pretty crazy. They have like 
rooms set up and you like go through each room to see how it would be staged and stuff and then there's like whole areas of nothing but lamps and nothing but uh, chairs and things of that nature so it's pretty cool uh, this time I actually saw the random facts the funny thing is I think I remembered seeing the random fact the other day but it was like way later um let me think 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 oh I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before but this is a very random obscure fact is that I this guy's name is Ned I feel like that's important for some reason is that I used to love a very specific cookie called a wreath cookie and I feel like we talked about this during Christmas but I'm still gonna bring it up because it's the first thing that came to my mind randomly so first and foremost little Debbie's used to make something called a wreath cookie it's like the spiced oh my god it was like the spiced iced cookie that came out during Christmas and I fucking love those things like the tri Christmas trees and stuff are cool but nah man it was those iced wreath cookies that were like the bomb diggity and they haven't made them for years and it really makes me sad so if you want to make me a happy CD if you ever see that stocked anywhere in the future then buy me some but yeah they were wreath cookies and I don't know why I loved them but yeah they stopped making them a couple years ago I think at this point now I haven't seen them forever. But that was like one of my favorite, like boxed, you know, boxed pastries. Like I love just regular Hostess cupcakes and stuff, but for the holiday season, almost nothing would beat those wreath cookies. I just loved them. Yep, haven't seen them in uh, years at this point. It makes me sad. Sounds good, Electric Man. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for being here. We will catch you on the flip side. As long as the flip side is on Thursday. See, this is another person. Oh, this. Oh, hey, look. We needed this stuff. Wait, what? Oh. Pressed R instead of loot. Back the way we came. It was. Okay, hang on. This way, and then I went this way. And then there was an open door. I'm gonna read that guy's journal here in a second. Well, this seems like a fun place. Four years ago? Jeez. Man, I loved those things. So sad. Vengeance. All right, the Temple of Vuldur. Oh wait, oops, he said I mean to do that. The Temple of Vuldur. The first time I heard about this place was from my grandfather's bedtime stories. He used to tell, as uh, he used to tell, as that was the as that there. Wow, what is this writing? As that there was this once. Yeah, what the fuck? A powerful dragon priest who goes by the name of Vuldur. So powerful that he has the spell to curse anyone and slowly drains their life force. They say Molegbal gave him this power to destroy Tamriel. But during the last great dragon war, when they were losing, he and his followers managed to escape Tamriel. A few of his cultist group settled up at a remote island called Valmenheim, which was far north of Dawnstar. While he, Molegbal, created him a safe haven, which only by portal that could be traveled there. This, I think this is modded content. Oh, dear Jesus. Okay, I was going to read all of this, but this is a lot. Okay. Well. I want to go in here, but I also want Star Taco and the chicken to be here with me. So, I'm gonna see if I can get them to spawn, because it looks like if this is modded content, then uh, if it's more difficult than usual, I wanna have backup. 
plus I don't know how long this is going to take. Yeah, I need those cookies to make a resurgence, PJs. I need that in my life. We're gonna sell some stuff. The city is under attack. Get inside and bar the door until the fight is over. Wait, what? We're also looking for volunteers. If you are willing to aid us in this battle, you shall be generously rewarded. What will you do, citizen? Will you volunteer or will you stay? Uh, I guess. Who are the attackers? Looks to be a bunch of bandits. <laughs> we'll show those bastards they picked the wrong city to raid. I will volunteer. My thanks. Follow me. My men and the other able fighters will be gathering outside the gate. Everyone, keep yourself safe! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Everyone, your, your hands only. Now. We are under attack. Let's see. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Well, that's something. Mysterious note. Okay. No idea what that is either. Okay. Lots of shit. Well, um, I was just coming here to sell my shit, but I guess we just got enlisted, chat. Hi, Seaburn and I. How are you doing? Uh, Oh really, PJs? I probably couldn't make it right. Are you are you helping? Who the hell are you? Guess that person's helping. Let's go. Definitely need to get rid of the fireball staff or people are gonna be pissed at me. Hold your position! Get ready! Here you really Here ought to come. be careful with fire. So weird. I like how the horse just straight went in for the attack. What the hell was that fire? I don't even know whose fire is what. I hope they don't kill any NPCs. Good lord. I've slain a horde of enemies in the Great War. Huh? Wait, did he not die? Wait, what? How was he not dead? Here, I need. I don't want to hit somebody. Oh, they killed a horse. Wait, did they just kill a lady too? They did. Wait, who is this? I don't want them to kill. Hang on. What the heck, dude? <laughs> Looks pretty simple. I'm sure I have a box chef. But you can post it in the food thing if you want. All right, well. That one lady got killed. I don't want her to get killed. Well met, friend. I've got oh. another idea. Help. I don't like when NPCs can get killed. That's why I did the whole run for your house things for dragon attacks. Hold your position. I ain't holding my position. I'm gonna go try to kill people before they get over here. Um, we need to do this. Fight. Oh. Yeah. Be arranged. 
so much for the follow. I am so distracted. Oh, that's the wrong person. Whoops. Sorry, I paralyzed you. Okay, are we good? Oh, come on, that should have killed him. I swear to God, if she dies. Okay, we good? Nobody died. This time we even saved the horse. Horse, old lady is alive. Okay, that's a bandit. That's a bandit. 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 That was a good fight. Okay, think we're good. Victory tastes sweetest when our enemies are as furious as strong. Your service is worthy of these gifts from the Jarl. Long live the Jarl! Long live the Jarl. All right then. All right, all right, then you just made me overweight. That's Hello, friend. Oh, I'm glad you're not upset with me, like, paralyzing you. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, new follower. Hope you're doing well today. All my follows are anonymous, so that way people can just lurk in the background if they this so one choose. Wonders to themselves. I'm so glad I didn't accidentally jump on that horse. That would have sucked. Long live the R. Long live the R. Where will he be when age consumes him? You know what? I'm about to go sell a bunch of shit anyway. Just give me all the stuff. Just gonna go sell it all anyway. I'm already over encumbered. Oh, that looked really cool. Oh, that thing looks sick! Holy crap, it takes up so much of the screen. Jeez. That's funny. I thank you so much for that follow. I do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well today. The Eye of Evil. Aha, it makes sense to me now. I okay, still got it. All right, let's see here. <gasps> Uh -huh. Quick, where's the give artifacts crowd control? That is so funny. Oh my god, that was probably the most annoying annoying things. Like the crabs, I could kill most of the crabs pretty quickly, but oh, I hate being weighed down. Yeah, enjoy my slow walk. I don't like that there's like a flash of light after I do that though. I wonder if that's something to do with one of the mods. I don't know when it's completely done. That's, yeah, it does like a little blip of light, which really sucks because I use Whirlwind Sprint a lot. So. Good question, Ash Cloud. Probably because I am overweight. So, I can't sprint right now. However, as soon as I get into the city, I will be uh, selling the stuff that I just picked up. So, yeah, it does like that flash. I don't like that at all. I wonder what's conflicting with that. So, unfortunately, I cannot sprint right now. I am over encumbered. I would just give it to Dark Taco, but honestly, I feel like it would take. I need to ask you to stop. That Won't happen good. again. Glad we straightened I'll that do out. it immediately afterwards. <laughs> oh, now he seems impressed. That's why I loved Whirlwind Sprint. Is anytime I would become over encumbered, it doesn't restrict you from using it. And I'm like, ha ha! Unfortunately, oh, years. I, I, my I will top. kill you, Nazi. I own Shield for a farm, you see. Very successful. You're lucky. Oh, You're so lucky. <laughs> Yeah, these are the types of things that I would figure out. Exactly, Ash Cloud. This is what you figure out whenever you are a big hoarder in video games. You figure out ways around it. 
So yeah, whenever I have the full whirlwind sprint, I can move pretty freaking quickly from one place to the other. So. You're heading east, steer clear. No, it doesn't, it's all. But thank you for your concern. Yeah, um, I know which one you're talking about, Eye of Evil. We just started our playthrough, so it'll be a long time before I can do that. Yeah. I know it'll be hard to tell a cell, because I've told people they can talk about, like, the main game, just as long as it's not modded content, and I know about what he's talking about. Yeah, you can actually get a spell that summons a merchant. It's extremely useful. Unfortunately, he would still restock his, his gold way too, like, way too, like, it would take forever. Yeah, it takes a lot of work to get to that black book, yeah. I guess I probably could have, I don't, I think you can still ride your horse. Because now that I have convenient horses, I could probably actually just call my horse and ride the horse. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but. Hello, Grey Sage. How are you doing today? Hopefully the next Elder Scrolls game gives you damage. Hell no, Glass Joe, get out of here. You're so Hello, fr Hello, mm -hmm. friend. Blades, She's always helmets, so happy. Pretty today. much anything to suit your needs. I mean, I'm just gonna take all this shit off your hands real quick. Thanks, friend. I don't think there's anything else you have that I want. Okay. I can't remember for sure, but I think you can also sell to the person indoors too. I might be wrong on Let that. Let me know if you see anything you Because like. I think that was one of the good things about this. Ooh, I hadn't been in here since I did the mod. Looks really good. We've got small weapons as well as big. Oh, whoops. Maces, daggers. Looking what do you to protect yourself. Aha, he does. He has damage. a completely different set of money and stuff. That's really cool. I couldn't remember for sure, but I felt like I always used that to my advantage. These are the kind of things that, like, I'm pretty sure I knew, but it wasn't positive. Okay. Okay, he's got plenty of money, too, so we should be fine. Actually, hang on, we should probably sell axes and shit like that. We have two of those. All right, how much? I didn't even see how much weight we were. Holy shit, we're at so much weight. <laughs> there ain't no way we're selling all of this, but whatever. Side ninety heart. Hello there, Alpha Ninja. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the subscription for two months. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and app reviewing for another thirty days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But how are you? And Grey Sage, I'm glad you're doing well. Glad I'm awake early enough to catch another stream. Well, I appreciate that. Yep, the weekday streams are always uh, in the evening for me, which helps some people across the world be able to see a little bit easier. And then on weekends, I tend to stream earlier, but longer to try to catch more people. So it always, always depends on the day. But lovely to have you, Grey Sage. Lovely to have you here. 
I can't stop playing Skyrim. So for anybody who's not in the Discord and hasn't seen my schedule for this week, let's just say I'm going to be playing a lot more Skyrim all week. Plus, we've got the rebrand on Saturday, so it is going to be a good week. I can sell a lot of stuff, actually, but unfortunately, you only have X amount of money, so I'm going to sell the shitty stuff. Those. My speech is going up a decent amount. All those damn shadow ones, those are actually worth a lot. Those aren't even worth anything. The fuck. things. I have a fishing rod, but I already bought a fishing rod, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um, I have a Daedric mace? When did I get this? Looks freaking dope. Good morning from Dubai. Ah, that makes sense. I didn't think I had heard where you were from last time, Grace Sage. Well, good evening from the US. Dubai and Abu Dhabi are both places I would love to visit strictly because of the architecture. The building architecture in both of those places absolutely fascinate me. And there's a lot of times where I'll just like go down a rabbit hole of looking at their designs on the internet. That's a good fun fact, Glass Joe. I know it was from earlier, and I know I already gave you a fun fact, but consider this a pardon for last time that I forgot to give you a full fun fact, but um, I used to want to be an architect really bad. I actually really enjoyed using like a CAD system and Thank stuff. I thought it was fun, but uh, ultimately that is not the direction I went. But I still love building architecture. I know, right, Alpha Ninja? I had a lot. I should have came back and sold stuff sooner, and I didn't, okay? See, if I had the full whirlwind sprint, you can make it almost all the way up there in one go. Which is why I never cared if I was, like, over-encumbered and I came to sell stuff here. I need to ask you to stop. Oh, I'm glad we straightened that out. Yeah, I'm glad we straightened that out. You think you could actually take me in a fight if you wanted to? I could take on this whole city with just me, Dark Taco, Dark Taco Supreme, and Chicken Taco. Welcome. <sighs> Starting my uh, my days off to work with some good streams, so I am chilling. I'm glad to hear that. Do you have any plans for your days off, Alpha Ninja? Yeah, 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 sister, junk. blah, 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 I'm gonna buy that just because it seems so random. Actually, I guess I could go ahead and start buying house stuff too. Would probably be a good idea. Buy like clay and glass, so that way I don't have to come and like get all of that later. Iron fittings, locks. Probably need that too. But I don't need a saw. I think I'll need straw. <laughs> Tacos are cute. Dark taco emote win. I don't know. Llama, can I commission you to make an 8 bit taco? Then and only then will we get. Why do I have a, get a guide to Skingrad? Legal basics. And I sold most of that stuff to him, so. Alright, good enough. Now I can sell him some shit. What random crap do I have to sell him in here? Let me just get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need out of this section real quick. I have a fork. Great. 
Yep, great. That's really great. I wouldn't. I kind of feel like I should keep the- wait. Oh, that's what it is. I recognize the blood extractor. Cause I was like, I feel like that's important for some reason. And it is actually like, I guess it doesn't matter if I have one now, but you have to use the blood extractor for what's his nuts for Hermaeus Morris stuff. I'm like 98% positive. Cause yeah, he asks you to collect blood samples around like the world or whatever. That's why. Now I get it. Now I understand. Yep, what Isel says. You have to read and react to the rules before you can post anything in there. Yep. Yep, and that means that you've read the rules and understand them, and that means we can take action if you are with outside those bounds. So yep, make sure you read and react to the rules. Or you will not be able to post in there. I was trying to get rid of some of the heavy stuff. I guess I should just start spamming and not care too much, but... No. Sure. Eh, sure. What the fuck is up with his face? Do come back. I wish I didn't have to, but he actually does that. Yeah, you should be able to just do thumbs up on, uh... You should just be able to do a thumbs up. If it doesn't happen right away, it might just take a moment, I. It might be that the bot is uh, the bot is down or something because that happens occasionally. But it should give you access as long as you've read and then reacted to the correct one with a thumbs up. So if it hasn't, just uh, give it a little bit. What the fuck? Helidor. Steel. It's worth four hundred. What even is that? Part. Yep. I have several elixirs for sale. Yes, there is glass, Joe. Whenever I'm trying to sell stuff, every time someone else plays Skyrim, I start to get the edge to play it again. No wonder it's been re-released so many times. Yes, Gray. That's actually why I really wanted to play it. Is I did a. So you're interested in my potions a, uh, and ingredients? I did that challenge run back in October, and all I could think about is like, man, I just really want to play this game again. So here we are. I accidentally bought that and didn't mean to. Oh wait, I can sell. Oh, I can sell the blood extractor to you. I have no reason to keep the blood extractor, so I guess I will give it to somebody. Oh dear Jesus, I have so many potions. Shit, I don't know why I just sold. Good I'm lord. Alright. Well, the good news is. Don't. As for Twitter, I can't help you out on that. I'm sure she has more than one tweet. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely have more than one tweet. <laughs> Spare a coin for a fellow who's down I say that as if I use the platform so a lot. Correction, I only have there. a few hundred in, like, the years that I've been on there, so. Okay, that's the last thing I'm going to sell, and I'm going to... I will spare you guys the slow walk Did everywhere you know else. A bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this and a bit of that. See, if I was smart, I would have been selling more, but I got behind in my selling. Be careful up. And now I have too much shit. Yeah. 
says tweets are protected. I have no idea. What's the top tweet? Are you sure you're following the right one? Because it's not CID 90, it's CID underscore 90. Other than that, I have no idea. Well, hello there, Jacob. How are you doing? I completely ignore Twitter and Reddit now. Just crazy people all around. Yeah, I completely understand that, Jacob. I'll be honest, I don't use social media a lot. That's the reason why I was like, why did I even say I use it a lot? Because I really don't. Now I get too, uh, too annoyed by the stupidity of the world nowadays. I'll still go on Reddit, but that's because I typically follow stuff that is like good posts on reddit or good subs on reddit like eye bleach and awe and gaming's okay every once in a while sometimes they'll tell me something that i don't already know so just completely depends oh wait this is four out of five maybe i should hold on to that i feel like i should hold on to that but thank you for the follow jacob welcome in Yeah, I'm definitely not a huge, huge person when it comes to media. Wait, which poem am I using? Uh, now I'm really confused on which one that is. I'm definitely keeping that just because of how freaking cool it looks. I don't really care for that. Okay, hang on one second. Which one was it? I'm good though. Just woke up some time ago. Very nice, Jacob. Well, I hope you have a great start to your day. I'm glad you're doing well. Thanks for finding us and hanging out. We're just going to chill and play a little bit more Skyrim. I've still got a little bit more time that I can play, so... I'll play for a bit more today. And we'll be playing pretty much all week, so. I say all week. We'll be playing Thursday and Saturday and Sunday. So any of the days that I'm streaming, we will be on more Skyrim. So I am pretty darn addicted at the, this moment. For good reason. <laughs> oh my gosh, woke up at 4.30? Okay, so yeah, you're across the oceans, roughly, potentially UK. Could be Portugal. Could be Morocco, I think. Morocco is along that same time zone, too. Okay, so wait, which one of these was I using before? Okay, I was using that one, so I think I got rid of the Elven one. Sorry, I was so confused. Both of these were marked and I was very, very confused. So we need to unfavorite that. Okay, there we go. Now we should be good. Oh, Central Europe, Never mind, Denmark. Okay, so you woke up before. You woke up about an hour ago. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that would have been an hour ago. I don't think I could be that aggressive towards someone just because they woke up. Wait, what? Aggressive? Oh, oh, I get it now. <laughs> I get it. Because you said kill me. <laughs> Good lord, Acel. Uh, Acel's being a smart ass. <laughs> oh my god. Touche. Play on words there. Yeah, it took me a second too. I was like, what do you mean? Be so... Uh... <laughs> I was so confused. This so bamboozled us. Sorry, it's taking me a minute to store stuff. I got super distracted, so. Hey, uh, Sonia, I don't need these anymore. Well, Jacob, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. You just got here. I hope that was because of a Cell's joke, because I know I didn't make that good of an impression in the first few minutes of you being here. But thank you so much, Jacob, for the first time tier one sub. Please enjoy these lovely, awesome emotes as well as ad free viewing for the next 30 days. So if you do enjoy some Skyrim, then you're gonna be getting plenty of use out of that sub because we are going to be on it a lot. So thank you so much though, I really appreciate it. 
I was an adventurer like you, addicted to Skyrim. Then I got shot in the controller hand. Oh no. Well, that's a very unfortunate eye. You could play mouse and keyboard. This is the first time that I've actually used mouse and keyboard. I'm still getting used to it, which is why people see me like fumble around and press wrong buttons and stuff all the time, but still. But thank you very much once again, Jacob. Happy to have you hanging out with us in a cell that made me laugh way too hard. <laughs> I think it made me laugh harder because like after I got it, I was like, oh, I should have realized that sooner, but I didn't, so. Hi, Vippy! Speaking of people in the middle of Europe. No problem. I see Skyrim and friendly people, so why not? <laughs> Sounds good. And apparently a cell will not ta not take you out. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> I guess if that's part of the, the prerequisites, we're we're batting a thousand, so. Oh my god. I don't know why that's cracking me up so much, but it is. Vippy, how are you doing though? Um, did you have work tonight? Why do I have a solid Dwemer medal? Where the fuck did I get that at? Well, I'm storing it. Because we can use that later. Um, I actually need to start storing. What's in here? Oh, the cat goods. What's in here? Stolen stuff. What's in here? Brooms. And cat stuff. Okay, I tell you what. I'm gonna move this stuff. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, you can store stuff on different shelves? Oh. Well, so that's part of food. I started buying house stuff, so I need some place to store that. Because we're going to have to build houses later, so I may as well go ahead and start buying that so I don't have to figure that all out at once. That's good, though. At least you were not, I. At least you were not. My mod powers go only so far. <laughs> Caught me off guard, actually. <laughs> well, see, that's how nice we are. We wouldn't even think to do something such as that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad you're doing well, Mr. Vippy. I am doing well. I had a relatively good day at work. It seemed to fly by, which was very nice. Um, and yeah. So far, we're just playing some Skyrim tonight. We've had a lot of people raiding us tonight. I don't know if I was just a prime target or what, but so many wonderful people decided to come and visit us tonight. And I really appreciate people swinging by and all that good jazz. So, you know, I cannot complain. If I do, that would just be ridiculous of me. Because we've had a lot of great people swing in here. And I've had a good time. And chat's probably like, oh my god, please stop sorting your inventory and get back to the game. But, uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We bought a lot of stuff I wasn't planning on buying. So I will, I tell you what, guys. I know, I know that I'm, like, taking my time and everything. So I've got the perfect thing to repay you guys. The absolute perfect thing to repay you guys for bearing with me and sorting through all this stuff. I know it will be the best thing in the world. Her inventory is the game. It's so true, Ash Cloud. Oh my gosh, just give me like a freaking, uh, give me a, a, a sorting inventory simulator. I would be so happy, but I know it is totally a song, PJs. You knew it. Hi, Radioactive Paladin. So far, the times I've come in to watch her, it's been Inventory Management Skyrim Edition. I'm sorry, but now you get serenaded, Radioactive Paladin, by a beautiful flute solo. Lucky you. Let's enjoy. can only have so many bards. 
<laughs> Llama, that's a pretty good thing. Inventory management is 40% of Skyrim easily. Easily. It doesn't even matter if I have a million septums because I shit you not, when I played Oblivion on stream two years ago, I had over two million septums in the game at the end of the game. And that was not cheated in. That was not using duplications or anything because most people didn't believe me. And I was like, no, I just sell literally everything. And even if I don't need it, I have to do it. It's like a compulsion. So the perfect thing, it tends to be questionable. I don't know what you're talking about, Silverleaf. You guys all loved that, right? You loved it. You loved it. You, you loved my beautiful Maraca plane. Hmm. <clears throat> Anywho, back to uh, gameplay and stuff and things and whatnot. And um, wait a second, where was that? There. Glass Joe asks, this or that? No looting for 20 minutes or playing over encumbered for 20 minutes? Definitely the no looting. Uh, reason being is nine times out of 10, I probably don't need to be looting anyway and I probably have more than enough money to know what to do with. However, playing over encumbered would just be really slow gameplay for both me and for you guys. So I can't really imagine you guys wanting to hang out when I am doing something like that. So yeah. That would be my answer, Glass Joe. Hi, Viking. How are you doing today? I want Flute Hero in the game now. We're going to become a Flute Hero. We are doing a lot better than we were before. Acel's correct. This is my fucking shit. Let's go. <laughs> this is my fucking jam. <laughs> Rock that flute solo. Oblivion. Did you not like Oblivion, Jacob? Oh, no. And here I thought we were going to be friends. Oblivion's one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, where the hell do I go? Here we go. Love Oblivion so much. Sup, orange maraca. I'm telling you, I need to get some regular size maracas. It will happen one of these days. I keep saying that, but I never think about it. Don't answer. It's a twig. Tw tw it's a twig. It's a twig question. <laughs> Goodness gracious, it's a trick question. I'm telling you, my words are all over the place tonight. Where's my kitty cat? I like it, but it's goofy. No, that's fair, Jacob. To each their own. I love Oblivion's quest more uh, than Skyrim's. Like, if they eventually make Sky Oblivion, where Skyrim leveling and stuff was added to Oblivion, uh, it would be like a perfect game to me. Honestly, Oblivion's quests are just so good. So good. So lots of stuff in Oblivion too. Don't remember how much gold I ended up, and please don't wave your maraca at us again. I read, I but but the maracas are special here. The maracas are for people who have subbed over a year, so that the maracas get used occasionally. So, oh yeah, the old horse armor fiasco. Oh, nobody will forget that. Nobody will ever let you forget that. Okay, I don't know where Dark Taco went. But he's around here somewhere. Empty chest was this bullshit. I, my loot senses are tingling. I don't know what those are exactly, but they're tingling. Something's tingling. I should probably have that looked at. <laughs> it's so good. Morak is at the ready, always. Always. Unless I accidentally knock one off here and then they're like gone to the void, so. Cause that happens a lot too. <laughs> so good, I got you, Maracas, yeah! I feel good. Wait, is this not the right way to go? Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, we got a thing. We got a key that came in here. There's not shit up there. There's a thing over here. What am I supposed to do here? What, what, what we got hidden around here to get into this gate? Because I know there's got to be a secret. I just do not know what the secret it is. 
Ah. They have glass in this universe. Why are there no glass windows? Aren't there glass windows? Yeah, it was like you have to buy glass to make windows in the hearth firehouses. Ash, I promise not to make fun of you for that. Maybe a little. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be cold. They'd be cold as shit. Although, technically speaking, there was no glass in uh, Skyrim originally. Oh, there was only glass in Oblivion. This is a mod that has uh, glass weapons and armor. <laughs> no, you're good, Ash Cloud. You're fine. You are good. No need to apologize here. We all say the silliness on occasion. As long as we can all have a good laugh about it. That's what matters. Oh, wait a second. Actually, I need to be using this weapon. Victory. One second. Victory once again. Victory. Skyrim belongs to CD. Hello? Is this secret or is this right way? I was thinking it was going to be secret. The more I explore, the more I thought I was going the wrong way and I seem to be going the right way. I don't know. Where's my, where's my light on? Yeah, it is because some of this is really shiny. Bright and shiny. Bright and shiny. Oh, fuck. Nope, I'm totally not here. God damn it, Dark Taco, why'd you have to say something? Yeah. I am so almost dead. Fighting the chicken. Look at them, they're all trying to kill the chicken. Oh, wow! I just got like one shot there. Holy crap. Yeah, we know it's Skyrim emotes, but we don't need to just spam emotes for no no given reason. Emotes are great in moderation, but just spamming a whole bunch of them. Is not really doing much for me or the chat. They are cool, but when used appropriately, I don't mind. Yeah, it just got ended right there. So, yeah, there's the mod list, uh, Gray. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is my first time modding, though, so uh, I will try to remember where some mods came from, but I may not have the answer for you. All right. Just a random skelly. Just a random skelly. Dude, these guys are rough. Holy crap. Okay, hang on. New new game plan. New game plan. Pretty sure I got her. See you, bud. Wait, what? I am so good. I'm so dead. I'm dead again. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch to that staff first. 
Yeah, ice spells, man, and all of them are using ice spells. They are absolutely wrecking me. I wish I had a quick saved before I came into this spot. So let me see if I can do this and this and that and that. That person died. Man, I feel like I'm not doing very much damage to these guys. We're doing a little better this time, but I had to switch to the old paralyzed stuff. Yeah, I feel like this sword does not do much damage to these guys. Okay, we go. Nope. I'll show you what. This guy scares me. I missed. Oof. That's why that guy scares me. Jesus. Whew. Yet again, paralyzed staff is OP and helps us a lot. So. It's all good, I. No worries. We're just letting you know we, we just don't do the spammies around here that much. You are perfectly fine, though. Appreciate the apology, and we'll move on from it. Doesn't matter. So, thanks, Gray. <laughs> thanks, I try. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, um, big disclaimer for that is that I had a lot of help modding, and since I have never modded before, um, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, special shout out to my friend Zero Period Productions, aka George. Uh, he tremendously helped me. He is a streamer here on Twitch as well as a uh, YouTuber and uh, He is known for doing a bunch of different Elder Scrolls playthroughs. He's on the ESO official stream team uh, He's really good people. So he took over 20 hours of his time to help me figure out modding for the first time. So uh, he recommended a bunch of different mods and then my community recommended some. And then I just went through the top 100 mods on Nexus and just picked and pulled some that I thought looked cool. And that's how we got the list. So it's completely all over the place, so. Once I got banned for using 50 individual bits when there was for some reason a 50 bit minimum. Hopefully these bits don't get me fucked up smiles. <laughs> they will not indeed get you fucked up. You are perfectly fine. No, um, the only thing I think I have in place is a 5 bit minimum and that's just because people used to like try to spam individual emotes constantly. So no, as far as that's concerned, you are perfectly fine because I don't care if somebody does if you want to sit there and click 50 to 100 individual bit things, then more power to you. But thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. I can't loot this person's body and it's kind of making me upset. Yeah, bits are always okay. I'm not going to be that person that's like, you use this? Like, no. But thank you very much. I appreciate the 100 bits. Uh, yes, so Ashcloud, to answer your question, I am trying to do a spell sword playthrough. So uh, I will be honest, and if you've been in here long enough, you've probably noticed that I don't mind using some other stuff like a bow and arrow if I really need to. But yeah, for the main part, we are a spell sword. So I typically will use one sword and one one type of spell casting, but spell casting is not as strong in this game unless you're dual casting. So sometimes I'll switch to that if I need to or whatever the case may be. So I, I kind of call my person a spell sword that is a jack of all trades when I need to. So hi, Matt W. George is a really awesome dude. Uh, he's been my friend for over two years now and I truly do appreciate, I, I hope I've I hope everybody's understood this enough because I, I shout his name to the rooftops whenever I'm playing 
Skyrim because he definitely deserves the the recognition for helping me because again he took 20 hours of his time like 20 hours is a lot of time so it's very nice of him to have helped me or this playthrough wouldn't have existed at least not a modded playthrough anyway so Wadake I will quick save for you because I just saved but I'll quick save again how are you doing Wadake Arcane Armory, thank you for the hydration reminder. Uh, I hadn't actually drank any water for a bit, so much appreciated. Oops, I don't know what I just pulled there. Thank you so much for the new follow. Welcome in, new follower. Hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on where it is you are. This thing looks like it's going to take longer to get through, so... I don't know how long this, this cave is, but I guess we will just go through this cave. And uh, we'll just end stream after I get through it, but I think it's going to be a long one. Because again, I thought I was going the quote unquote wrong way, and apparently I went the right way. I'm going to save again because I just grabbed all that. Cozy? I'm glad you're cozy. I am pretty cozy myself. Okay, yeah, it definitely looks like that's the right way to go. So let me go back for a second. Because, yeah, there was some stuff that I didn't get to explore back here. And I just want to see what is there. So let's turn off this light because it's causing a couple weird shadow issues. I don't know why sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't do that. but. And then let's go this sword and firebolts. Okay, now I can turn it. Oh, God, no. Yeah. It reflects in a really bad way sometimes. I have the quote unquote lantern turned on bright because uh, sometimes you just really need it up. Digi PJs, very nice. What are you up to? I'm assuming like an EMB and uh, unofficial patch and things of that nature. Yeah, because the first night that we started streaming, George had me install like very specific ones out the gate, Sky UI and uh, the unofficial patch and some other random on and end stuff. He's like, you need these. I'm like, okay. I do what you say, George. Sounds good, Ash Cloud. Have a great rest of your day or evening. We'll see you later. Ciao. I haven't done an EMB yet. It's not sure if I will do. No, that's fair. Assholes, there's not even anything in here. Jerks. They debated me. Oh yeah, the SKSE files. Yeah. No, that was, that was Wow, okay. Twenty five hundred health? Are you flipping joking? Where are you going? I mean, if you want to keep doing whatever you're doing, I'm fine with this. I don't. Oh, he suddenly decided that I was worth looking at after I did most of his health. That was extremely random. And uh, I don't think he had any treasure or anything where he was. I was so lame. Dang, I was better off not going into this area. I should have just kept going the way I was going. No kidding, E Blackbird. Yeah, 2,540 health is a lot as of right now. That's a chonk boy, and he just, just kept taking it. Oof, man. Some display tweaks at the graphics card level so I can have widescreen and G Sync. Gotcha. Hi, Dova. We are not going to see. <laughs> uh, no, Dova. Definitely not that level of modded. <laughs> the only, like, quote unquote silly mod I have is the chicken one. But I have a chicken. His name is Chicken Taco. He's pretty freaking adorable. The backflip mod does crash a lot of stuff. 
Yeah, no, I didn't change anything of the gameplay, and I didn't add anything silly like Thomas the Tank Engine as a dragon. Maybe one day. Sounds good, PJs. Well, before you know it, you'll be playing a bunch of modded Skyrim alongside me. Yeah, the MCM helper, spell perk, um, item distrib- oh, you did, a uh, item distributor. Or wait, no, that's not what I was thinking of. Never mind. Yeah, there's a lot of those, E Blackbird. A lot of stuff that can change the magic. So you should be able to do some cool stuff with that. <clears throat> I didn't change a lot of the magic and things of that nature. I did I did the lighter perk overhaul. Is that a freaking crimson? I shouldn't even have picked that up. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember during the challenge run when uh, I picked up Nernroot and then somehow I got to negative Nernroot? Do you guys remember that? Thank you for the five bits, I on evil. I of evil, I said on. I of evil. Thank you very much for the five bitties. Let's see. I was trying to see if there's anything else. This looks very ominous for to not actually have anything going on. Gonna like cross this and a gate's gonna slam down. Okay, I have no idea. Alright, whatever. Yeah, yeah, by freaking. Because we had to go through Blackreach for whatever the main quest stuff was, right? Because you have to go down there for some reason. I don't remember why. And uh, yeah, I kept going negative. Freaking Crimson Nernroot. It made zero sense. Warning note. There's always a warning note. Here, li oh, fuck's sake. Here lies six fallen warriors. Holders of the keys and guardians of the key vowed to guard the portal through death and beyond. Great. Thanks. Taking this too. Burb. Wolf. Fallen note. Here lies something bane of wolf, fire hunter, blah 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 blah. Yeah, sure, something like that. Oh, do I have actual chambers? Holy shit, this place might be too big for us to finish tonight. Because if each of these has like whole separate chambers. Hi, Death Lord. We knew you were coming. If there's individual tombs for all six of these guys, I don't know if we'll be able to get through all that. Jesus. I knew this was going to be a big place, but I wasn't sure how big. You have all your- okay, you still have two ebony axes. I might need to give Dark Taco another axe just in case he gets uh, disarmed like he did before. Yeah, this dungeon's actually been pretty good. It has not been- like the necromancers were pretty crazy, but uh, knock on wood so far it's been relatively balanced. The necromancer conjures and stuff are a little difficult, but at least we're getting like scourges and stuff, and we're not only getting death lords, so it definitely seems a little bit more balanced than some of the other ones. Wait, what did I even touch? Well, good thing I didn't get jacked by that. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened with it, but yeah, we had a weird glitch and it was just vanilla game. I don't see anything that's triggering that. It's weird. So, wait a second. There we go. But yeah, for some reason, like even if I didn't have any, it would just make it negative. I don't even know. We didn't even do that quest because we were only focused on the main quest line, but. Hey bud, there's some sharp stuff on that there. Best watch out. It's gonna be one of the spirit dudes. Actually, I need to charge this. That's what I opened my menu to do a minute ago and then I forgot. <laughs> Frankly, if they're all made by the same guy 250 years ago, I'm just impressed. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it looks like you can trip it every time. Uh-oh. 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 Dark Taco didn't make it in. So it's me and Chicken. Me and Chicken against three Death Lords. We got this. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the new follower. Hope you're doing well today. Please don't knock me over. Wait. What? Wait. Wait a second. Did that knock my sword out of my hand? Oh, no, it didn't. I don't know what just happened there. No, not a dragon priest. Or at least we didn't get a dragon priest here. Just the death lords, but eggs. They're kind of destroying me. Spam a bunch of healing stuff and hope that one of them heals me. There's too many potions in the game. Like, I don't know if, like what they are, so... Where did Dark Taco go? I know he didn't make it in here. Uh, it wasn't a modded item, Dova. Whenever I did the um, I did the challenge run, I did it on uh, I did it on Xbox, and it was completely vanilla. So I had never seen it happen before. So I have no idea what caused it. I don't remember. We'd have to go back and look at the VODs and figure out what happened to it. Maybe it was because I ate one or something? I have no idea. What, what did, oh, 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 cause this, oh. That's a good design. Oh dear Jesus, now where am I? Yes, no, Death Lords love to disarm and it is so annoying. So annoying. Cannot stand it. Hmm. Let me guess, this is the person that we need to actually kill. Is it gonna be one of the shadow ones or is it gonna be a... Oh, oh I'm so glad, back to back rooms with freaking Death Lords. Okay, at least it was only one. I thought these guys were gonna open. They probably still will. Maybe. Then again, maybe not. Forty-eight and thirty-six? That's gotta be better than forty-eight and thirty-six, yeah. Ha! Ah, yeah, right, Sloth. Good morning, sir. How are you feeling? Are you gonna stream today? Okay, we'll try that. 
Oh, good lord, you guys are gonna give him. <sighs> give him the credit. Sleeping at the moment, definitely resting. Yeah, totally tell you're definitely resting and not currently in a chat when you should actually be resting and sleeping and stuff. Yeah, can't, can't sell. Oh, shit. Oh, I made it, let's go. Do I have this in the journal? Yeah, this isn't even like a quest that's showing up in here. That is true, Dova. That is very true. Okay, so we got another door there. Hang on, I'm gonna check what we got here because we're already hitting the five hour mark. Let me see what we got here before I move on. That one. Da -na -na -na. Hello, the Iron Minotaur. Guys, the Iron Minotaur is one of our newest members to the Pug Club stream team. Please, if you have not done so, check them out. I believe they've been in here before. I recognize the name. Unless I've probably just seen them in Bears or somebody, someplace else, which is also possible. Coconut Monkey, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you doing it today? Also, I just realized that I... Yeah, that's whatever. I thought I'd recognize that. Well, welcome back, the Iron Minotaur. How was your stream? Looks like you were playing some Dead by Daylight. Were you playing... That was a really weird... I don't know what that was. <laughs> were you playing... Um... Were you playing Survivor or Killer? Good lord, you can tell I'm starting to get tired. Welcome in Raiders, my name is CD. I'm a variety content creator from Arkansas in the US. I typically focus on first blind playthroughs of games. Although Skyrim itself is not a blind first playthrough for me, all of the modded content is. We are currently in a modded dungeon right now, so if you know anything about any of the uh, quest mods and location mods, please do not spoil any of that for me since I haven't done them. Other than that, would love to have you guys here. I was just talking about wrapping up soon. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and go into this door right here and then uh, whenever I get through whatever that boss is, then uh, we'll wrap it up. Cause we still have those two over there. There's two doors down here that need keys and then, ugh. So I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll at least get this left side done, so. Feeling slightly better though, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Mm. I've agreed to work Thursday and Sunday. I am an idiot. <laughs> Not necessarily. If you're feeling better, I mean, you still got all day Wednesday to to recover and make sure you're feeling good. Sloth, so that's good. I was playing Survivor, I won eight games and lost seven. I got DC'd three times, and I don't play Killer because I get sick easily. Fair enough. Well, congrats on winning eight games. I'm fortunate about the DCs and the losses, but that happens when you're playing DVD. Um, have you played against the new Killer yet? Well, I appreciate it, Iron Minotaur. I appreciate it very much, so. I don't know why I switched to this weapon. I should have been using this one. Very nice. Okay. A court... <clears throat> According to Twitch TOS, if you have been raided, you have to stream for at least one more hour. Dimmed rules, man. Ah, oh, coconut monkey. I'm a rule breaker. Not a TOS breaker. <laughs> let me let me go back and say that real fast. If you're here for the entire hour, coconut monkey. Even then, I will not be streaming for another hour. <laughs> I also work full time, so uh, I've already done more than enough work today between my actual work and now. But I will definitely stay on for a little bit longer because I was about to end. That's okay. So. Thank you, Iron Minotaur. I appreciate it. Yep, unlocked it about a month ago, decided to hold on to the average and try to raise it, and uh, 
we have done amazing with that. So looking forward to putting, I'm gonna submit the application on Friday and on Saturday, I have a huge new rebranding reveal. So a lot of very exciting stuff that's coming up. Lots of exciting stuff indeed. Ouch, that's not exciting. We don't, did you really need to kick me while I was down? Did you really need to do that? You jerk, you are destroying me with those arrows. Good lord have mercy. Ah! Oh. God, the other one over there is shooting arrows. But ting. I agree with Coconut Monkey. Of course the you do. The universe, you have to at least stream for another hour. Cap lol. Oh, now we're upping it to the laws of the universe. Man, you're like, okay, if she doesn't adhere to these, these so-called Twitch TOS rules that I've never heard of, then maybe the laws of the universe will bend to her will. Or at least that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Iron Minotaur. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's very exciting. It is indeed. So I have been planning on doing a rebrand for a long time now. And I uh, commissioned a lot to get done. I put the commission in back in October, believe it or not. And we are to the point where I have all the assets in hand now. I'm working on getting stuff switched over. So I am ridiculously excited to show this amazing community what all of their raising funds over the last while has been for and uh hopefully hopefully a lot of people really like it oh it's in the fine print mm. yeah see i like where eyes coming from or i could raid somebody and then make them stay on an hour okay hang on. i want to make sure you're in the room because uh there's scary people there okay there we go dark taco where's my chicken come on chicken I need, I need you to be in the room too. Okay, no, 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 Dark Taco, no, 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 no. No. Listen to these people. Think they, think they know how this works around here. Tell you what. They come in here, being all cool pug club people, thinking they, thinking they know what's up. Okay, Dark Taco. God, I can't sprint for some reason. Ah, where are you going? Can you just get in this room, please? Stop that. There we go. I'm such a hooligan. Gosh darn these hooligans who let these people in here. You're lucky. What I do to hooligans is something along the lines of this. Okay, it would have been much more cooler if I actually got the shot off when I did that, but I did not. We're not going to talk about it. It's fine, we're going to act like it was really cool and stuff. Yeah, victory! That's what we do to hooligans around here. <laughs> One of those was Iron Minotaur, another one was Coconut Monkey, and the last one was I. Just because I saw I's name first. <laughs> yeah, even my companion is sighing, like, ugh. We're still here. We were supposed to get off earlier. And I have to go in and do this real fast. How dare I do what I have to. To keep the balance of the force. That's what I'm going with. Uh, this, 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 this. I am going to unfavorite that for now. Don't need this, 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 this. Okay, don't need that. So 
Silverleaf, I appreciate your face. I just wanted you to know that. right there. No. Oh, fuck, what? I swear I pushed no. You dick. There we go. Alright, how are we looking on items? That's good enough. Oh, good lord, now it's not favorited anymore. Ah, I hate that. It's fine. There we go. Okay. Let's go whoop up on some, some ice. Wait, where's the thing to open that back? Oh, it's probably in there, because that's why it does it. Oh, uh, that's modded storage eye. That is modded storage. It's called the Staff of Shalador, I believe. And so it's basically like a home within the staff itself. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't remember what I think we're in, we're in the... We're in the bird, we're in the bird, we're in the bird. Bird? Fuck. We're in the snake. That was my first guess. Okay, we're not in either. Apparently we're in the whale. Which is neither of the guesses I had earlier. Wait, what? Now I'm really confused. I thought this was from the beginning of the thing. Okay, hang on. There's probably something that tells me around here then. Uncle Buddy! Hello, Uncle Buddy. How the heck are you doing? You're just in time to watch me struggle on this puzzle. <laughs> Just in time, because wait a second. I, this is, oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Bird snake. It's a bird and a snake. I thought it was from the very beginning. Bird and snake. Now I get it. Hello, Uncle Buddy. How was Dark Souls 3? What were you doing in Dark Souls 3 today? Guys, go check out our friend Uncle Buddy, who I met through some other awesome people. So basically, my whole stream, I'm wandering around the map. Yeah! I mean, I don't know that to be true, but Uncle Buddy, how was Dark Souls 3? This is not your first time through, right? 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 Thank you so much for the raid, though, guys. Hi, my name is CD. I almost said my full name for some reason. Um, Righty content creator, we are playing some modded Skyrim, and I hate to break it to you guys, but you are coming in at the end after I kick this guy's ass. And then we'll be raiding somebody else, but you guys are more than welcome to hang out and see if I kick this guy's ass or if he kicks my ass. We're about to find out. Stay tuned. If he wants to come out of his... I, I see your little thing. You're not hiding from me, good sir. Hi and good night, quirky teacher. Thanks for being here. I'm preparing myself for DS3 finale stream where I run through like six bosses straight to the end of the game. I have vacation coming, so I gotta end games. Oh no! I mean, you could always come back to it. Just saying, you could. I had to do that with Final Fantasy X, unfortunately. I was literally like probably two, three hours into the point where I could have been beating the game. I was literally on the last series of bosses, but uh, I had to, uh oh, I wasn't paying attention. I had to uh, go to Las Vegas, so I literally had to wait like a whole week before going back to it. So, <laughs> so I do understand the, the having to take a break and it's not fun to come back to kind of thing. Did you play too many at once? I ended up sucker for love tonight before DS3. Nice, um, I've not played that, but I have watched a little bit of a playthrough of that and it always looked pretty funny, so. Oh wait, where did my light go? Oh, that was weird. Yeah, I typically try to play only a couple games at once. Like one or two on stream, one or two off stream, so that way I'm not like super overwhelmed. 
And usually I will only have like one really big game like this. Although Stardew Valley did take a lot of my time not too long ago. Highly recommend it's fun. It looked like <laughs> silly fun, something I would like. But I do love me some Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is one of my all-time favorite games. I was actually launching it last night to mess around in the SL1 run that I had. That's true, Silverleaf. That is very true. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, that is where we're going to end it. Oh, it was a wolf anyway. I was completely freaking wrong. It was the bird that I saw over here before. Uh, but that is where we're going to have to end it, because uh, this looks like a massive undertaking. We still have these two sides, plus whatever is behind these doors down here, and then whatever is after that. So that is a little bit too much for us to do this evening, especially because your girl's tired. She worked eight hours, and then she streamed for another five and some odd, so... I would say that it was a pretty successful stream outside of those parameters, so we're just going to have to wait until Thursday to continue that dungeon as much as I don't like uh, leaving in the middle of a dungeon. We're just going to have to do it. So let me get some stuff pulled up here real quick. This girl did too. Clearly a guy. <laughs> yep, that's the thing about the, uh, the old... The old working and, and streaming at the same time makes for some long days. In the end, it's totally worth it, but it's... Thank you, Barinzia. I hope I said that right. Isn't that the name of the little crystal things? Or it's very close. Sorry, I never actually collected all those damn things. <laughs> I think it's very close, so... But thank you, thank you very much. I am glad you enjoyed the stream, and hopefully you'll come back and visit us again in the future. So let me uh, let me open up stuff here. Let me go to intermission as well. Boom. Let me bring this over here, and let me do all the things because I got to thank some people right quick. We had a lot of raids tonight. Uh, like I said, I don't know what was going on, but everybody was raiding us today, which is lovely. I really appreciate it. I was just uh, surprised so many people came through. So let's take a gander real fast and rethink our friends who decided to raid us tonight. So first and foremost, Sheldonot, Rate Eats Cookies, Frain all raided us, along with Yonder Yonder, Buttercream Cake, Zero Gravity Theater, Savage, uh, Iron Minotaur, and Uncle Buddy all raiding us. Thank you very much for bringing your communities over here, you guys and girls and thems. I really appreciate it. Hopefully they enjoyed their time here. We're just a chill, chatty community, and yeah, we just play games for long amounts of times and stuff. So uh, the next time we will be streaming is going to be on Thursday at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So it's going to be another evening stream. Uh, Friday, I took off of work to make sure that all the stuff is ready for the rebrand. The rebrand is going to be revealed at 12 o'clock Central Daylight Time, so noon my time on Saturday, and then we are going to continue with Skyrim after that, so plenty of stuff, so. <laughs> Thank you for the stream, all glorious seven minutes of it! Or something like that. <laughs> You're most welcome, I'm sorry I couldn't stay on later, but uh, yep, I already pushed it back by 16 minutes. And then apparently the laws of the universe dictate that I was supposed to stream for another hour. But the laws of physics or the world or science or whatever can suck my non-existent testicles. Because I'm tired. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, let me do a check here. Um, I actually have somebody in mind that I wanted to stream tonight. But I need to check and see what they're doing. I'm going to check a couple people just in case, but I had one person in mind that I don't know that I've ever gotten to raid, or maybe if I have, it's been once, but they stream at a completely different time than I do, and uh, they are currently doing a subathon, which is why I was like, ooh, I should do that, so. 
Uh, possibly I. It completely depends on a couple things. So give me one second. I'm going to mute the desktop audio for just a moment. So sorry, it's going to go quiet. I just want to hear... Okay. Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and read this person. So unfortunately, it will not be a Skyrim streamer. I am sorry, but I have a good friend that is doing a uncapped subathon. Good lord and more power to him. But like I said, I have either once rated this person or have never rated this person. But they're really nice people. So I really enjoy their content. Um, so I'm going to send you guys his way. So thank you guys again for all of the follows, for the bits, for the gifted subs, for the resubs. Um, thank you guys for being here, for chit-chatting with me. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Again, Skyrim is the main... Main... Uh, main playthrough on the channel so we will have plenty of Skyrim in the coming coming weeks months probably years maybe I don't even know so all right guys so uh, let me get this oops I thought I kicked it off and apparently I did not so if you wouldn't mind raiding over with me to Mr. Mimat he's a really good dude he is currently playing some Pokemon Legends Arceus uh I think he's he's on intermission right now I know he's not going to bed just yet uh, that's why I was checking to see if he was going to bed because I wouldn't want to rage you into some place that's just going to be going to sleep. Uh, but he's a really, really nice dude. So I want you guys to uh, check him out if you like um, his content. Make sure to drop him a follow, but he is really nice people. So thank you again, guys. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is where you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in the next stream once again, Thursday, 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time.